Hey, everybody, I'm hosting this session. <laughs> <laughs> Playing without Don. Okay. Don the host. I think we're good. I think I think this is going to be great. I'm going to take one of these out so that you're not blasting in my eardrums. Um, eardrums. You heard him right. Eardrums. Eardrums. This is my second right here. <laughs> this is good. It's going to be a fun night, guys. Fun Cheers, Don. My Thank you. Beer. Your invisible beer. It's poking through the sunshine. All right. Well, thank you, everybody, for uh, suffering through 10 minutes of uh, experimentation, but I really had no idea how that was going to work. Um, and we call ourselves geeks, right? I'm a system admin. I should know this shit. But... It's not a gaming session if you don't spend at least 10 minutes fixing the uh, cables. It was literally working not two hours ago. Jimmy was here, and we had Mark, and we had the exact... Yeah, same Mark, setup Mark knows what he's doing <laughs> you want me to turn me up yes i can turn me up okay hang on oh i re erased my uh desk oh well no shit no wonder um what new and exciting and developments have occurred. oh them <laughs> yeah you are okay how's that audio is for them not you testing Jesus us now christ that's loud in my brain <laughs> <laughs> Hey. Okay, how's that? You did uh, it. I've often wanted to like turn down my brain. All right, I'm just gonna have to suffer There's... with you, loud motherfuckers. You should be able to <laughs> turn your actual better. computer volume down. <laughs> hey, you Don. know what? I tried that and it didn't work. <laughs> All right, it only works <laughs> something deeply wrong then. <laughs> the OBS program, which is amazing. Um, yeah, so that's I'll okay. Who who needs eardrums? It'll be fine. Um, well, I think next time it's going to be better because now we kind of know what we're... Well, I kind of know what I'm doing. And it will be... Yeah. Um, so sorry about that. Let's get this show started. <laughs> Jesus. Um, it is DG Game Night and we are playing Demon Hunters, A Comedy of Terrors. But before we get into any of that, we have a special guest who's not actually our player tonight because he's doing something else more awesome. And I, don't know. I kind of made him not the leader anymore. So I get it. <laughs> I get it. And I I'm did sorry. not mean to steal your job. I'm sorry. <laughs> that's, but you that's weren't quite there. Right. And yeah. So, Brian Lewis. Uh, Welcome to the show, and uh, tell us what you what you're up to. Thank you, Don. Yes, uh, you may have remembered me from uh, DG Game Nights, such as a couple of weeks ago. Um, <laughs> but then I had a, this daughter having a 12 year old birthday party, so I had to bow out. And apparently, that is grounds for removal of office. I maybe just killed the whole team. It's not it's... really a removal. <laughs> <laughs> You know what? I'm okay with that. Yeah. Um, what did I get myself into? I'm sorry. So, <laughs> Nothing. It's fine. So I, I, I actually won't be joining you tonight uh, for DJ Game Night, but uh, I will be joining a new show, uh, Void Jumpers, and that is going to be at 6 p.m. Pacific time on Wednesdays. So starting tomorrow, you can come join uh, me, and uh, the whole thing is GM'd by Jesse B. Keeter. The other players are oh, Lisa Coronado, um, Trin Miller, Connor Marks, Damn. And we're going to be playing some dork games in space. And it's going to be very wild and wonderful and very interesting, hopefully. Badass. I might actually get to tune into that because I've been wanting, first of all, to see something played in the system that you're playing in, which is? Mm -hmm. Which is Monster of the Week. Which so. Demon Hunters stole heavily from. Um, <laughs> I, I've heard that. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Uh, but, but you're also doing space, which I'm very mm -hmm. interested in, and you have an amazing lineup of people who are playing, which will make it very fun and interesting to watch. I, thank you very much. Yeah, it's uh, I agree with all of those statements. It was uh, we actually did this in uh, ZoeCon as a one-off, uh, the same okay. group, and uh, we just like had so much fun doing it. It's like we should maybe we should just do this 
weekly? And like everyone thought, yeah, that's amazing. So if you want to actually check that out before you see uh, the first episode, which will be tomorrow again at 6 p.m. Pacific time, that is on the Twitch channel, I would imagine. Uh, just look for my mug and or Jessica Keeter's Lisa Coronado's Trent Miller's or Connor Marx's. Um, and yeah, that's probably the ZoeCon stuff, I would imagine. And that well, one game went for about three or four hours and it was hella fun. Hey, just wanted to tell you all about that and let you get to your game. Thank you very much for watching this and hopefully you'll watch our show tomorrow. Have a great game, In guys. space. In space. Thank you. Space. In space. Bye. Trying to figure out how to get this bottom bar to disappear. Anybody know? The bottom bar? I don't know that you do. <laughs> yeah, okay. you've got like stuff. Because I Not tonight I move, we don't. If Whatever. I move away, I wanted to have the chat like on screen, which would have been cool. Mm. But um I figured that out nope. earlier. <laughs> 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 but we're just gonna do that. I the guess. We got just, what we got, and you get to see the bottom of my screen. So there you go. I guess I guess that's not um, sweet. The end of the world. Okay. Wait, wait, wait. Do you have like porn open? Oh no, never mind. No, I don't. No, do no. not open. Mm -hmm. no. At least not on this computer. <laughs> Yeah, yeah. So, okay. Thank you all for joining us tonight. And we are um, playing Demon Hunters, A Comedy of Terrors, which is this book right here, which you can buy at drivethroughrpg.com. Yes, thank you, Christian, which I cannot apparently <laughs> highlight you at this moment. <laughs> no. Uh, if, if I was talking, you could probably hear me, but I wasn't, so... Yeah. Sorry. Maybe talk and hold up the pretty book. Talk and hold up the pretty book at the oh, same time. Oh, yeah. I'm doing it. I hope it is working. This Look book is pretty very book. pretty. I made Dude. my character with it today. <laughs> it, it's beautiful, and you did a good job. So that one is available at Dead Dot Market. Maybe I don't know if it's still available. It's a cool thing. So anyway, uh, you can get the PDF at DriveThroughRPG.com. You can get uh, print-on-demand versions. We're good to go. Um, yes, I did proof the characters today, even Chris Dupenthaler's. What? Especially no. Chris Dupenthaler's. Okay. Especially Chris Dupenthaler's. <laughs> And uh, he only has one thing that pisses me off on his character sheet. So. <laughs> wait, wait. You, you you, only saw the one character. I've got that like one based on the musicals. Oh, God. <laughs> yeah, I have plans for that one. Um, all right. So uh, this is exciting. Um, we are playing a, an adventure that I wrote in, the, uh, in my Patreon, which, by the way, is... Patreon slash Don Early, one word. So if you want to check me out there, that'd be awesome. Um, and uh, yeah, so there I'm writing uh, content for Faith Core, which is the rule system that is uh, what we're running in this uh, in this game. And uh, you know, as a highlight, of course, I want more demon hunters, and so I wrote uh, I write a lot of demon hunters uh, missions, and so. Uh, we've been playing those. Uh, we are to my favorite one that I'm excited to play tonight. And we have a brand new team of people uh, and demon hunters, mostly, mostly, 80% or so. Might I ask why that is? Uh, you know, things happen sometimes, and um, the right things happened, basically. And so now we got Beg to. to differ. <laughs> It's fine. Don't worry about it. Um, <laughs> the important thing is that Biff died. That's the important yeah, thing. We can all agree. Really that. important thing. That is very, very important. And uh, that, that was basically the mission goal, right? Yes. So, Don, what happened to the last team? <laughs> <laughs> Just pulled me out of R and D and said that they they needed me out here. I was supposed to be drawing things. There Christian, were pirate ghosts. Christian, and... I want you to know that Biff was not the last of my characters to die. 
That's true. Uh, Biff drank a blender <laughs> while he was trying to consume a ghost. And it did not agree with him so much. From the inside out. So he died. Oh, God. Why don't we go? Uh, yeah, it was awful. I do have video. It's in okay. the group chat. So, but it was, he was trying to, you guys were trying to make Bloody Mary, the ghost, yeah. into a Bloody Mary, the drink. And we succeeded. Inside Success of- with style. With style. He and some ones role. on some demon dice. Oh, you know. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> oh, dear. oh, it was poetic justice. I loved was... every second of it. Yeah, it was <sighs> great. Um, so we got a replacement for Biff, um, who was a necromancer. Um, and he brought the wrong parrot back to life and then got killed by a pirate. There was a right Ghost. parrot came back to life? Um, any maybe, parrot but that one. But the, the one, yeah, any parrot, but that one. Just not the left parrot, I guess. It was terrible. It was a very bad parrot. The parrot kept lighting boats on fire by. Technically, like, the parrot repeating. summoned Bloody Mary just That's by true. repeating back some spell that it heard. So, yeah. well, uh, it's really a spell. It's is this something everybody knows. Adoption? This is my follow-up question. <laughs> quick, quick, well, quick. the parrot got away. So, so yeah. That's true. Yeah. yeah. Who's got yeah. a new character tonight then? <laughs> <laughs> Dupe yeah. came back as the parrot. Dupe there is are the only, parrot. There are only Watch two out characters. Me and Sarah. Got it. Yeah. There are only two characters tonight uh, out of six that are um, from the last group. Oh, God. I'd argue oh, there's like 1.85. 1. 1. <laughs> 1. <8. laughs> Ursula okay, is so coming I... back without an arm. Okay, but. Yeah. Yeah. My suggestion to have your arm replaced with your sludge matic I think, is real great. So I think it's an upgrade, <laughs> really. It takes a while to make changes like that. <laughs> it does. Don't think I'm not thinking about it. <laughs> I have plans. <laughs> but tonight, what I have is an already marked off severe condition. <laughs> <laughs> That's right. Arm. Um, I was going to make, oh, wait a minute. Hang on. OK. Dupe, mm. you were playing there, and even though you have a new character, you need to mark off yes. a serious condition. <laughs> uh What is it? You decide, but it's <laughs> something what? serious. It's Wait, you what pissed is off from? the GM. Oh, okay, excellent. This is from <laughs> trying to use Cats the Musical yeah. as an aspect. <laughs> yeah. Oh, yeah. All right, so Don is famously not a fan of musicals. Not all of Dupe's future characters. <laughs> <laughs> Basically, yeah. Yeah. Dupe's no, characters funny, never have a serious I really condition. I want to get killed take. off. I just need to start singing <laughs> yellow cats. Perfect. Yeah. Yeah. So, all right. So, it's a it's a major thing. And actually, I mean, honestly, given your character that you're playing tonight, it's not far off from who you're playing and why you would have a serious condition, right? Uh, so my my uh, uh, serious condition is um, is going to be cruciflexed. Oh my you god! You asshole! You <laughs> asshole! <laughs> What did you make, dupe? What did you? <laughs> what? What's in the box, dude? What's in the box? <laughs> yeah, All I'll right. be. Uh, I'll be playing Trocar uh, Christos. Um, he's um, Rogar's blood brother, who was killed at the Battle of the Black Fields. But then later, rose three days later, uh, randomly. Uh, no real apparent reason. He's got no idea why, uh, but um, he's here. Someone like resurrected him. I don't know. And there's these like guys following around because you know, like religion and stuff. Oh, Who no. knows? Whatever. Yeah. Yeah. Yep. Put him on the team with the demon. It's gonna be great. <laughs> <laughs> why not? You know. 
We have a living, breathing, farther all character that has decided to join the Demon Hunters. Maybe it wasn't his choice. Likely it wasn't his choice. Trokar is on a quest to figure out what happened to him and why he's been resurrected. He figures that if anyone's going to know, maybe these guys, like supernatural stuff, that seems to be like what you guys That's do. That's fair, so... because this is a world you do not recognize. You know, this is a modern world. You, There are no castles. Well, I mean, there are castles, but, I mean, honestly, like, no one lives there. Only the rich people who live there. I guess that's no change. It's basically would the my, same world. Would my students at the school I used to teach at before the demons happened uh, have been playing the card game that you know, I, we would then recognize this from? <laughs> oh, no, no, no. Uh, okay. Uh, so the card game, are you talking about Carl and Chaos? Uh, no, I'm talking about, uh, the world of Father, Father All. Or oh, yes. Would we, would oh, we recognize, would, would we think this is fictional? Except not, obviously. Possible. Yeah, it's a, it's a weird thing, the whole crossover between the gamers and Demon Hunters. I'm not sure how it works in Demon Hunters, but in Gamers... Demon Hunters make sense because you can make a gaming world real. Mm -hmm. In Demon Hunters, all the stories are true. Yeah, you figure it out. It's another dimension. I dropped a a kaiju on it once, so. <laughs> true. <laughs> Which Matt Vansel graciously incorporated into his timeline. <laughs> Which I thought was very generous of him. <laughs> All right. So let's talk about Demon Hunters. It's seven o'clock. We haven't even started yet. Um, let's game. We are, we are playing a, uh, a game where um, all the stories are true. All of the uh, horrors that go bump in the night uh, are actually real and trying to eat you. And there is a sort of the Celestial Torch that have, has existed for millennia. Um, they are uh, colloquially called uh, Demon Hunters. And I'm not going to object that. to that name. Just yeah, on principle. Yeah. Seriously. Uh, and it's, it's kind of uh, one of those things that's sort of dragged on for 300 or more years. Because at one point, basically anything supernatural was called a demon. And uh, I'm bouncing because I'm holding my table, <laughs> and that's gonna happen. So good, just good cover. Yeah, um, I'm excited. That's all Yay. it is. So um, yeah, so werewolves and vampires are world. It, it all exists, and we have these people to thank for us to um, you know protect us from uh, knowing about it and and being devoured by things that want to kill us. Or at least things that are not human or natural. Right. Um, so, let's go down the roster. We've got some new characters. We've got some old characters that need some updating. Uh, let's talk about who we got here. So, every demon hunter has a chapter leader. And a chapter leader... So, every team of demon hunters is called a chapter. And... Mm-hmm. Yeah. Uh, if you hear anything in the background, it's my family being awesome uh, outside trying to put my daughter away. Away? Or, away. <laughs> for bedtime. And we cracked, huh? Back in your cupboard. It's been, it's been the day to put him away. Um, all right. I feel you. And, uh, and so team leaders have a super responsibility in choosing their team and the brotherhood in their strange logic for some reason has decided that when who is the only out demon in the brotherhood who happens also to be succubus mm -hmm. yes, please. um she has been serving the Brotherhood for a long time, most of which they didn't know she was a demon. It's true. That's, Until the 20s. Whoops. That, yeah, that, that was a 
semi-recent development. Um, but uh, obviously prejudice and, and things endure. And so given... Now here's the thing. Given the, the events of the last mission, a promotion is the last thing you expected. That's true. Um, but it is also true that I'm quite good at talking my way into what I want. There is that, yes. So... Are you guys, like, middle management? Oh, no. So... Definitely not. When you have been chosen to choose your new team as Chapter Pi 7... Yeah. And um, you have chosen... Well, first of all, tell us who you are. Um, so I'm Wen. I'm lots of years old. Um, I am a succubus, as previously stated. Uh, uh, I am the only one that is serving on this side. And though so you cannot tell from very recent missions, I actually prefer to not kill the creatures we come in contact with, if possible. Oh. Seeing as how I am one. Um, but sometimes it can't be helped, obviously. Uh, and I kept Ursula with me because she is a hoot. I like her. Um, and like, I'm going to be real honest with you guys. Pick the rest of you out of the hat. <laughs> <laughs> just like a person to pick a rabbit out of a hat my yeah. god uh, yeah. don't know your names yet so if you could let me know, that'd be great off over to uh ursula who you named specifically because yeah. you know her yeah yes and ursula, ursula tell is us the you. she's uh the offspring of uh Famous uh, demon hunter and the horrible racist prop comedian Gallagher. She wields the ancient and deadly weapon, the Sledgematic. And she didn't come out of this last go around so good. Uh, here's how it happened from her perspective she was laying the smack down on a fucking ghost kraken like a badass. She was. When suddenly a seal dressed in uh, body armor and night vision goggles grabbed her by the shoulder and started dragging her out of the to, out of the harbor and then some asshole blew up a boat and it scared the seal and the seal bit her arm off so she is missing her right um, and she's not that team member is not back with us the one just, <laughs> just so you know is the seal I'm that did the biting he was on the boat <laughs> Is the seal that did the biting like Navy seal or aquatic dog seal? Actually, yes. Yes. both. <laughs> that fits. <laughs> the tracks. Yeah. Yeah. So yeah, yeah. Uh, I my whole thing is hitting things really hard, and now I'm I'm batting lefty, so things are not going to be as smooth as they used to. Be. <laughs> oh yeah. And I've also. For those of you who watched He-Man last time, I've adapted Cyclone Stunt for Ursula because I had so much fun with it. Yes. So uh, oh! she is less precise than she used to be with her attacks. Let's oh, just say. So that makes sense, though. So. Is that the one that hurt all your friends? Sure it is. <laughs> wait, I can't wait. Good oh, wait, wait, no, I have something better. That blows. OK, thank you. <laughs> All right, so uh, Ursula, choose the next person to introduce. I'm very interested in this rabbit. <laughs> Great. Are you uh, just drinking a big carrot drink. juice? <laughs> uh, we to talk about it. He is method. <laughs> right. Uh, right, so uh, today in your esteemed presence, you have Stu the Bun. Um, Stu is a sentient animated child's plush rabbit bent on vengeance. Um, think uh, a velveteen rabbit with an attitude. Um, also relatively certain that um, its purpose in life is to avenge sick children and um, 
also pretty certain that the thing that makes children sick is demons because Victorian. Um, <laughs> yep. Uh, pretty, pretty stoked about this one, my friends. <laughs> Great. Yeah. That sounds rad. What <laughs> color are you? As a uh, that matter. One hundred percent a white rabbit, not dissimilar to, um, say, uh, the your the, actual rabbit. Yeah, my actual rabbit. Okay. I, I, I feel like, like he was an influence. Cool. That's awesome. But it shouldn't matter what color your fur is. No, oh, I just want a visual. I want to know what stew the bun looks like. Stew the bun is very easily blood stained. Great. Oh, Love it. Right. Yeah. It's more of a pinkish rabbit. It's very, very Monty <laughs> Python. I'm digging it. Yeah. <laughs> Stew the Bun is very still a plushie. Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah. That's an important thing to remember. Uh, yeah. mm -hmm. We're not talking yeah. about the end of the Velveteen Rabbit story. No, we're we're like... still in the center. <laughs> okay. But where it kind of went violent. Yeah, Stu, Stu really, really wants to be a real rabbit, um, but that progress got halted. Um, real rabbit. Real. Yeah. Yeah. You know, I think it's it's probably important enough that I should go get my dog's uh, white rabbit toy because, you know, we might need a visual. <laughs> oh, and Oh well, my then. god, I've been on this show for five minutes and I already have my own toy? Quick, let's kill off his character while he's gone. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> sorry about that. Rogar's blood brother oh, no. was dead on the. Uh, yeah. I'm super sorry. And he's dead again. And, and, I, and I can't when deliver. Texas headquarters. One more. Because person, I thought that my dog had a plush rabbit, but it's really a unicorn. Oh. Uh, you can't tell the difference between a rabbit and a unicorn. That's a joy. Yeah. It's pretty sad. Hmm. All right. What? All right. Helen, who goes? Uh, who, who's going to introduce next? Uh, let's see. Nathan, talk to us. Uh, well, I'm uh, Professor Pi, and I was supposed to be in the Research and Development Division, but they keep telling me that I'm not allowed to tell the senior uh, the senior admin what to do, and they're just they're just doing it wrong all <laughs> the time. And so I just they just let me keep the book that I brought, which is, I, I, I guess that's how I found out about you. I was doing doing um, prep for the pre-calculus FARC exam um, put out by Fearson Corps, who I hear are actually demons now that I've been inducted. Um, and they let me keep the book, but it tells me that there are ways I can use numbers to, to cause other people to feel the suffering that I feel every day dealing with children. So I, <laughs> I've been doing my best to get, get a handle on that. Um, and apparently they say I'm better at field ops than, than in the lab because something about human relations and having to be humane, I don't know. He's a math magician. <laughs> math magician. <laughs> math magician. Math magician. Well, that's right. All right, Nathan, choose the next person to introduce. Uh, let's go with Christian. Hello. My name is Jean Paul Georges, and uh, this is my dog Ringo. <laughs> uh, are you there? Hello. Hello. Uh, snap your fingers if you are there, but I cannot see you as I have no eyes. No eyes at all. Not you're blind. You have no eyes. I do not. I do not see. Uh, but my other senses have been uh, stayed exactly the same. Great. <laughs> <laughs> there has been no adaptation. <laughs> no enhancement whatsoever. Yeah. I am uh, the greatest swordsman in the world who is also blind with a seeing eye dog. Okay. <laughs> How the hell did you become a, a demon hunter? I was, uh, <laughs> equally, I uh, went to academy. I was to be a soldier. I surpassed all of my peers. Also, I was only one who used sword as it was uh, 1997. <laughs> 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 there was no call uh, post-graduation for a soldier who used a sword in this time. And so I, uh, <clears throat> I, I tried to find uh, 
that as part of my resume, you know? Mm -hmm. I ask around, I say, who needs a sword man? Who needs a sword man? No one, no one needed it. But then uh, I, I happened upon uh, a, a group of uh, chapter demon <clears throat> hunters who were fighting a vicious monster. And unfortunately they were all killed, but I managed to slay uh, the monster because it was a Gorgon. <laughs> that's that's amazing. Fantastic. This is my, uh, this is my third did they die of did they die of being turned to stone or was it more sword injuries? <laughs> I don't know do not know. I did not see a thing. Perfect. And the dog is not talking. Uh no, he uh he is very smart like a man, but still a dog. Uh, can only speak French. <laughs> That's perfect. Introduce the next character. Do not give him treats. You, dupe. Hey, um, <clears throat> yeah, Trokar Christos. Um, <clears throat> I am blood brother of Rogar. Uh, I die in Blackfield's uh, battle. Uh, Unbeknownst to me, I come back uh, three days later. Someone resurrect me. I, I'm not sure why, but um, I'm here now. There's like all these fanatics uh, that uh, follow me um, around, and it's a weird place. I don't know why. Uh, I was uh, I was happy with like uh, medieval life inns. Now there's like cars. Um, yeah. Um, not really sure what uh, what we should be doing here, but my quest is to figure out what happened to me. Um, that's uh, that's hard because there's these people in the way with the zealot thing, and uh, uh, smashing things doesn't always work. It does often, though. Who said that? <laughs> yeah. yeah, yeah. Good job. I think that's everybody. Didn't miss anybody. That's us. That's you. Well, the other essential uh, team of a, a team member of a demon hunter team is a cipher. And I want all now ciphers can be ordered on demand uh, and made to order. <laughs> they are cipher as uh, a service. They are a an Android and your access to the Brotherhood database um, and your access to the Brotherhood network, um, which is uh, includes the Necronomicon sat in the uh, in space. Um, and so I didn't make it up. <laughs> this motherfucker was, down here made it up. Oh, no, no, no. It's I, probably I Nathan. I know. <laughs> it's, it's beautiful stuff. I'm just thinking about these made-to-order ciphers. Like, you can tell, like, immediately how creepy your chapter leader is by meeting their cipher. Yeah. <laughs> That's right. Oh, wow. Another Which school is... girl. That's not weird. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. So, I want you all to build your cipher. What does your cipher look like? <laughs> what are the mannerisms? Uh, what are its characteristics? What are its quir quirks? And quirks. It always shows its work. <laughs> or else. <laughs> to give you an example, uh, we built a cipher on demand in a at Zoecon, and it ended up being Vincent Price, who had uh, a sort of uh, Indian turban, which was very racist, and a uh, a robe, uh, and talked very, yeah. It... Hmm. Let's not get that one. Yeah, yeah let's let's. Let's not hard, like it's a good pass. thing that wasn't recorded. <laughs> <laughs> Turns out uh, Vince Price was in a Raja uh, robe once. And um, yeah, so you can look that up. Yikes. But uh, didn't, didn't 
England still own India at the time? Yeah. And wasn't yeah, Vincent Price too busy doing a fake English accent to notice? Woo! Came out today, I believe, that Vincent Price's daughter confirmed that he was bisexual. Yep. Well, that's cool. Oh, yeah, I think we could safely put that under the no shit category. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> 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 He was yeah. not one of those hyper masculine types. <clears throat> but he was the voice of terror. Yes. Mm -hmm. As yeah. many bisexual people are, I will. <laughs> mm -hmm. <laughs> oh, shoes, though. So tell, tell, me, tell, me a, tell me about your cipher. Okay, who, so who is Trokar, cipher? Would like, Trokar would like our cipher to look like the governator. No, veto. <laughs> All right. Okay. How does, how does Trokar know who the governator is? <laughs> Why? You get here, you watch a film, it has a uh, Conan person, he seems good. Wait, so you want him to look like Conan, like him as Conan, not like yeah. just him as the governor? But after we Google uh, actor and I hear he governor, so... Eh. Very tech savvy. Not sound not sound like the governor. No, let's have him sound like something else, please. <laughs> okay, so Arnold Schwarzenegger. What David Hyde Pierce's voice? Old Arnold Schwarzenegger. I would like it to um, be blue. <laughs> Do you know what blue looks like? Okay. No. Right. No, I do not. <laughs> but all the same, I would like it to be blue. I like blue. it. I want it to be blue in demeanor. You can just or tell him it is. <laughs> a depressive Arnold Schwarzenegger is taking like the process from me. Okay. Uh, what did you say the voice was like? David Hyde Pierce. Help me out. Um, The brother on Fraser. Oh, yes. Oh, British and exactly and non threatening like grandma, yeah. but you're choking him while he's talking. <laughs> That's actually pretty accurate. Yeah. Uh, I know for one, I will pay more attention to him if he smells like a carrot. So I'm just going to slide that suggestion on in. Also, I will also, yes, make him smell like a carrot. <laughs> carrot smelling. <laughs> These are all good things. Okay. Anything else that are very characteristic about your cipher? How does how does your cipher blend in with humanity? Trump hat. <laughs> oh, Jesus. <laughs> yep. <laughs> As Fraser's brother. <laughs> I mean, aside from the fact that it makes a hilarious picture. <laughs> Actually, I was going to say hat. I think every yeah. time we see the cypher, he's wearing a different hat. You see like, David Hyde Pierce in that hat, and you're like, oh, <laughs> <laughs> Okay. Uh, I'm going to go with different hat. Different hat. Every time. And maybe a bow tie? Mm -hmm. Oh, a bow tie. Even even on Casual Friday? Yeah, then he wears his casual bow tie. Yeah, yeah, it's got Hawaiian print on it. <laughs> <laughs> Good Excellent. bow ties are cool. I am so glad I am blind. <laughs> All right, 3D print bow that tie, cipher. Bow tie of uh, a sort. So different bow tie, different hat. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Not that. necessarily matching. Yeah, a, no, a working passion. knowledge and an affected <laughs> passion for cricket. Mm. Oh, God. And he, just like the game, can go on for days about it. <laughs> I wouldn't know. I only know there is a game called cricket. <laughs> oh, oh. <laughs> I really was Christian, hoping... let me bring you into my childhood. <laughs> Constantly says that uh, uh, Jean-Paul Georges should come look at something. 
or see this. Oh, yes. <laughs> <laughs> Tells blind character to look at this. <laughs> uh, also, tell the resurrected character, dude, just, uh, uh, could you just die? Oh, <laughs> uh, I have a suggestion from the audience always a Hawaiian shirt. Tom? That seems, that seems legit. Fun. Yeah, I'm going to see who that was and hurt them. <laughs> <laughs> oh, hey, Merc. <laughs> awesome. Yeah. Well, if it's Merc, Merc gets a pass. There you go. <laughs> uh, I was hoping that you could uh, pick a voice that I could do. I'm not sure I could do. Oh, what voices can you do? Just make yeah, us a specific one. Tell us what one. you can do. I don't know. Connery, <laughs> Connery. I want a Connery cipher. Make it happen. Oh, oh my yeah. God, yes. I can oh, do yeah. that. I was going to aim for a bad Scottish accent, but I like Cypher with it. What is the worst Scottish yeah. accent than Sean Connery trying to do an English accent? You haven't if, heard mine yet. <laughs> and if we're doing I Connery... I can do a Sean Connery. It's no problem yeah, at all. Yeah. What are you going to do? If we're doing Connery, he drinks martinis. Well, he but if he drinks, fucking wasted. Is what if, he, he if he drinks martinis, he should look like Amal Clooney's husband instead of the Schwarzenegger. <laughs> no. Well, okay. <laughs> sure. It's fine. It'll be a just well, white hair. It's like mm. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah. What about Christopher Lambert doing a Scottish accent? <laughs> just like what about Sean Connery doing a Spanish <laughs> accent? Here it is. Where's <laughs> <laughs> Christopher Lambert doing a Scottish accent? I swear I'm from Scotland. <laughs> <laughs> Is allergic to dogs. I think we're good. Okay. I got it. I got it. So many more things we could say. Like the, the whole session tonight is just building our cipher, right? Because that yeah. seems to be. I'm picturing basically the medicine man, Sean Connery. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Um, Hawaiian shirt. Uh, Smells of carrot. <laughs> <laughs> Smells of carrot. Tons of shit it's here, but it's just loose wires. <laughs> it is blue, apparently. He's blue and is his but humor probably is not, like I don't know. <laughs> his humor is blue. Oh. Oh, excellent. Oh, we're gonna be friends. Yeah. Yeah. His humor is blue. He is definitely carrot smelling. He <laughs> smells of carrot. But he'd uh, rather that you ate his flank and beans. <laughs> oh my God. He does wear a different hat every mission. Um, Jesus Christ. <laughs> you're gonna, you brought this on. Fuck <laughs> you. You brought this on. <laughs> you get to suffer through the thing that brings me joy. So, uh, let's see here. Nose of cricket. I don't, but I'll work with it. Um, <laughs> But just... I don't think anyone else watching does either. So. No, I, I think we're good. And, uh, It'll be fine. It'll be fine. It's bowling plus baseball and, and silly soccer. Pants, right? I don't know. Yeah. It'll be fine. Um, fucks with the blind guy. That'll be great. And yeah. And a bow tie. We'll see about the bow tie. We'll see about the bow tie. Hawaiian shirt open, like deep V open. <laughs> yeah. With a bow tie. <laughs> <laughs> Just around the neck. <laughs> it's like a deeply, Stripper deeply style. guided thunder from down under. Yeah. There we go. Now I need a bow tie. I don't have a bow tie, but I will, I will get one. I will get one. I need some. This is not pets. one session. <laughs> okay. Well, we've built our cipher, and you call. Do you call him Cipher? Do you call him another name? Well, do we call do. Him? We call him Shifa. Which is Shifa. Shifa. <laughs> Shifa. I mean, it's how he introduced himself, right? Hello, I okay. Right. Everyone, I think, I think everyone Christian gets an extra faith die. <laughs> okay, fine. Christian, oh, you. you start with a, an extra faith die. That is. 
That is perfect. Because no of tears, because I'm literally crying <laughs> <laughs> out of my non-existent eyes. <laughs> oh, that's good. That's excellent. Okay, chapter pi seven. You have found yourself in the Midwest somewhere. This is farm country. Well, and come back to the Midwest. Yeah. And um, you you're passing through in a in a sort of pit stop area. Why are you there? Uh well, we had to take care of some business around um the bathroom around <laughs> No, no, no. I mean like we're we're coming from uh some business at, at Lake Michigan. Um, there was a couple of creatures in the lake, so we took care of them, and we're we're heading out of the area. Because they really trust us with water-based hazards at this point. <laughs> <laughs> well, they keep Bro. sending us there. I don't know why. Uh, what what do you drive? Like, what's our vehicle? That's a good point. Let's let's talk about your vehicle. <clears throat> is there more than one, or is it just one? Uh, do we have access to more than one? Sure. Are we a caravan? You're six people. You're six people. All right. How would you travel? Plus, plus no. a cipher. Or seven people. Well, I am compact, so there is yeah. that. Uh, that is yeah. true. I'm sure someone has been using me for a pillow for the last yeah, six hours. Department. <laughs> I feel a little bit like maybe we have we like a concert to tour bus. Ooh. Oh, yeah. Party bus. I was, I was going to go with I stole a school bus. <laughs> going to be like the bus that the Electric Mayhem has because. Hell uh, yes. <laughs> yeah. I'm not saying, I mean, it could very well be stolen, but they think they gave it to us willingly. <laughs> Either they were way, like, they, they were happy with the trade. They loved it. They thought it was great. So now we have this dope tour bus. Awesome. Okay. I'm not writing this down. You guys got to write this down. You have. A tour bus, describe it, give it an aspect. Electric mayhem bus. Mm -hmm. <laughs> okay. That because of because of Shaifa always smells a little of carrot. Mm -hmm. Is the Shaifa driving? Yeah, he's a Shaifa chauffeur. He's a Shaifa chauffeur. <laughs> <laughs> With oh, his martini in one it. hand. When you get a faith <laughs> Yes. <laughs> All right. And you pull up. Uh, suddenly, the this van, this uh, this tour van, is um, is stopping. And you're like, "What the fuck?" Mm -hmm. And uh, you hear. I heard something. We are getting out of fuel. It's time to make a pit stop. Get out and water yourself if you should. Bring back some booze. You'll probably want it. Keep your eye out for any mayhem. Why do you think that is funny, Dick? I have <laughs> readings that something may be going on here. Keep a lookout. Cypher out. Does our cipher run on booze? Is that why we have to keep giving it to him? <laughs> fuel yeah, cell. That's actually a fuel system. Okay. It was supposed to be out. ethanol, but yeah, uh, he actually runs best on the cheapest gin you can find. <laughs> the stuff that comes in like the plastic <laughs> gallon jugs. So they you probably know, have honestly, that. like Gordon's. Uh, he he will drink the worst vodka you can find, like Great. Tudor vodka. Anybody have Tudor? Like that's amazing. You should have Tudor at some point in your life. By that I mean you should like clean something with it. Mm -hmm. <laughs> it's a good. Well, once everybody's run out of I'm sure. Oh yeah. yeah. I don't think you can get Tudor vodka uh, in the United States, but. Pardon? Uh, somebody tell me where we are. We are at a gas station. 
Okay. <clears throat> it looks like a field. Ringo! Go! Shit! <laughs> outside of the tour bus this time. Outside of the tour bus. Is that what Ringo looks like? Yes, he's, uh, he's, oh, yeah. uh, ugly. he's a stupid, ugly dog. He's so cute. <laughs> you know he's stupid. He's, uh... I don't know he's ugly. Sorry. Wow. <laughs> I do not know either for certain. Ah. <laughs> <laughs> oh no no uh ringo don't eat the rabbit pellets no no that's that's no good why not they're high in fiber also i don't actually digest anything so there's none <laughs> where the so, fuck did those come from yeah, right <laughs> <laughs> oh, point, of water. point of order just shedding blood. the, the shifer so far is here yeah i don't think the rabbit shits it's just my opinion. We have a rabbit? <laughs> Easy one. Enough, man. I'm a bunny, and don't you forget it. Who's a bunny? <laughs> Let me tell you the last time I picked up some bunnies. So I'm gonna leave. <laughs> <laughs> Keep going. But I am gonna go out because, you know, that, that vodka is not gonna get itself. Uh, I'm gonna head out. Um... Maybe look for a snack for everyone on board? Not yourself? I mean, obviously, <laughs> also for me. As you're walking <laughs> by the bathroom to the, towards the gas station, you hear a toilet flush and you see Ringo coming out of the men's room? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I, uh... You got the key. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I, I go back with the dog into the gas station. Yeah, he wanders... He, he tosses the key casually up on the counter and starts buying snacks. <laughs> <laughs> awesome. I love this crew. Yeah, what, what's everybody else snacks? I oh, yeah. wander, wander out to grab a, a disturbingly large mug of disturbingly bad coffee. Uh, yes. Oh, John they Paul have is shouting his order at the dog out through the window very loudly, berating the animal for getting the wrong thing. <laughs> Don't you dare get the diet coke, you stupid asshole! <laughs> uh, I will have borrowed somebody's slippers, um, possibly bunny slippers, because I don't want to get my my plush fur um, anywhere near a, a gas station floor. Um, mm. that shit's hard to clean. Um, so I'm just clomping around in human-sized slippers. Uh, <laughs> yeah. perusing the bottom shelf of, uh, everything. Yeah. Yep. Motor oil. Oreos. <laughs> None of wow. this is useful to me. I, I envision the clerk behind the counter is a completely oblivious, pimply, like, teenager. Mm -hmm. Um, just like, you know, sitting there probably either is or will shortly be stoned and uh does this this clerk notice our our velveteen companion eh. unfazed not the weird unfazed shit he's seen eh. at his truck stop I don't, I don't give me <laughs> a dog buying a cappuccino right now <laughs> 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 Look, the brain will edit out the things that are too weird for life, it's right? It's just, so. it's been a long night, and man, I just can't wait to get off the shift and go fucking party at the Miller farm, man. You know what I mean? It's I do fucking... Know what you mean. This, uh... What, you know oh. what? You should just go now. The dog barks. <laughs> <laughs> oh, shit. That's like some truth right there. I know. Oh. You know, who gives a shit about money, man? Nobody gives a shit about money, man. You should just go to your party at the Miller Farm, right? Just go. Oh, you should come. You got, oh my God, you should come. Yeah? Oh, it would be great. What's going on at the Miller Farm? The best thing in the world of those shits. A little It'll bit be more. Fine. What? Uh, what? <laughs> fine. What? What's what? going on at the Miller Farm? What? The cool shit. 
Oh, well, you know, and then and then walks in a, a trucker um, of uh, largish size in the belly. Um, okay. And uh, heads straight for the beer cooler. And um, and he's like, hey, Marv. Marv's like, nah, flips the kid off. Great. Did you buy me decaf, you idiot? Of course. <laughs> of course, <laughs> did you stupid bastard? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Marv, uh, <clears throat> belly hit, hit, bellies his way up to the uh, plated glass. At, or not even glass. It's, it's you know, it's the plastic shield thing. Mm-hmm. Um and uh, throws up a six pack of beer and a Mars bar and uh, and and a pack of snowballs. There's something wrong with this person then. Snowballs? Wow. Snowballs. Obviously wrong. You know, the marshmallow with the pink coconut on the outside and oh. the chocolate cake I, underneath. And... I immediately flip open my book and I start doing some calculations about marv and the probability yeah. that there's something wrong here yeah yeah and he's like uh miller farm right am i right yeah yeah i'm gonna just drink this right here he's already drunk great so marv uh, tell us about what's going on at the miller farm i hear it's uh, great Oh, it's it's awesome it's it's like the halloween extravaganza of this whole town, it's awesome. You should, uh, you should come. Oh, is it yeah. just out of character? Is it Halloween? Yeah. Or, okay. Or is it would be better if it wasn't. And I, that's what I was wondering. <laughs> if it was like it's just still going. <laughs> yeah. yeah. It's a real good party. <laughs> just, just check it. All right. Great. Thanks for the invite. Are you one of the Millers or? Ah, no, no, no. I'm, I'm Marv Jenkins, and it's fine. You know, we're just going to go. I'm going to get the boys, and we're going to head over at, like, sundown, because that's when it gets cool. Right, because what happens at sundown? The sun goes down and stops heating the earth, and everything gets cool. Thank you, Stu. Yep, okay. <laughs> Literally. I know. No! I, think we I know go. about earth things. I have been alive for a while now. Okay. That's good, honey. (laughs) Um, He's like, well, it's good meeting you. I'm going to head that way. Great. The guy's like, yeah. Oh. It's $1.12 change here, Marv. Do you want to just donate that to, to the... Um, lost doggies. Yeah, sure, sure. Lost doggies is fine. Okay. Thank you. Okay. Stu's gonna hop up on the counter and be like, "Holy <laughs> shit! <laughs> Why are you donating to lost doggies? You could be donating to the children's hospital. What the fuck is wrong with you? Sorry. What the fluff is wrong with you, man?" I mean, Stu has he a looks point. At, he looks at uh, when he's like, "Yeah, that's fucking brilliant." Thanks. I think no, he doesn't say that's fucking brilliant. We're not in Britain. <laughs> he says that's <laughs> fucking rad. How how are you doing that? That's that's amazing. That's you are you are Magic. good. You should come to the Miller Farm. I have you heard should, that a few times now. You should you should have a booth. A booth? You should have a booth. There are that booths would, at the Miller with Farm? With your bunny? Are you kidding me? You would rake up so much change. I tell you what, my bunny does bring in a lot of cash. Yeah. While this guy's distracted, it's Ursula unlikely. has drank the rest of his six pack. Yeah, of course. <laughs> <laughs> yes, you have. Um, <laughs> Stu, can you please go grab a giant bottle of vodka for 
the chauffeur. Uh, and he points at the kid, and the kid is like, oh, fuck. Uh, I'm going to call a manager. Why do you have to call a manager? No, you don't. Well, it's hard alcohol. And yeah, no. It's, it's on the shelf right back there that I can't, I'm not supposed to touch. It's and... fine. I'm going to reach over and just pat his hand and put push a little pheromones into it and say, it's fine. Just go get it. Very nice. Uh, oh. He grabs the first bottle real hard. Yeah. Okay, now that's step one. That's step one. Now you bring it over here. Uh huh. And then you put it. You... It's actually tequila. Whatever. And you put it down. And, uh. Do the bun is going to, fast as you please, uh, scramble over and scramble up, grab a bottle of vodka, and scramble <laughs> back before you can blink. Yeah. Uh. Give me an overcome roll. Sure. I feel so, like she should get advantage. Oh, it'll it'll be fine. Okay. Uh, He's gotta very distracted. You gotta beat a five. I've gotta beat a five. five. Okay. Yeah. So I'm so on. pick pick an approach, pick a discipline, and add them together. Okay. Uh, so well, for the for those of you who quick. are watching at home, the characters. This is a pretty loose game. If you want to learn know the details, look at past episodes. I talk about it extravagantly um a fewer drinks i'm an approach i'm picking an aspect if you want uh an aspect oh. is is probably a bit much just approach no. a discipline okay great yeah. uh they have, they have cool. two two stats approach any way you want to approach a situation and a discipline things that no word can do I, I you know i would assume quick and covert ops yeah uh, yeah, so uh, I'm going to beat that by five. Oh, or or five by five. So that, ten. That is a success with style. With so, style. Uh, you were able to grab three bottles. <laughs> That's hilarious because she's tiny. She is. <laughs> she has a tail. Oh, uh, well, a little bunny tail, though. Hidden compartments? I don't know. Like... Yes, pockets. I have one bottle just of vodka in each paw, and <laughs> one of them, I, suddenly I'm just a lot pudgier. Just <laughs> <laughs> a little extra fluff to never hurt anybody. I'm sloshing a little bit. That's awesome. Yep. There's yeah. a little, like, like the cap is sticking out from underneath my bunny tail. That has implications. That seems mm -hmm. uncomfortable. <laughs> Yeah. Uh, Great. And we also got this tequila. So you did. And we have a bunch of snacks for the road. One's going to grab a Slurpee on the way out. <laughs> yeah. What's his name? The Slurpee? Yeah. Uh, it's a girl, actually. Thank oh. you. Her name's Donna. <laughs> I need a snack. <laughs> if we're gonna go strawberries. to the Miller farm, then I should charge up just in case. Fair enough. Um, yeah. So uh, <clears throat> there's you. Uh, you're kind of like finishing up, and you notice a woman um, sitting. Um, there's so there's like um, there's the gas station and then there's a partition like a well not really a partition there's like a it opens up to like a subway or a coffee shop of some kind um, and uh, and Mr. Magoo over there hears because he just happens to be closest to it. Um, <laughs> And not because his hearing is especially good. No. no, no, he just happens to be like really close. A woman crying. Oh no. We must save the damsel in distress. Do you hear that? Where are you? I don't think he got out of the, the bus. So you're still on the bus? Actually, he's just waiting just outside the bus. Just outside. No, no. Okay. 
I got out to pee. I'm not that kind of barbarian. <laughs> <laughs> I did not have to go. Great. I'm just standing outside the bus, probably smoking. He's French. Okay. There's so a woman standing okay. literally next to him, <laughs> <laughs> crying. Everyone, um, I hear a woman in some sort of distress. I cannot tell how far away she is. <laughs> I'm right I, here, old man. I and... have to argue, though, you are French. You should be smoking like this. <laughs> <laughs> And uh, uh, all right, you see uh, a woman who is gassing up a uh, an old Buick, and uh, and she's just like leaned against the pylon, and just quietly sobbing. Is she sobbing because she has a Buick? I mean, it's it's a sad possible. Thing. Doesn't help. Yeah, <laughs> it really doesn't. The king of cars, guys, shut up. I'm balancing my large coffee on my way back to the the bus, and I see her standing there bemoaning her vehicle, but just in case it's not that, I, I, I go up and I ask, Ma'am, are you, are you all right? It's just, I don't, I don't know where my Frank is. You know, it's been, I think, I think he left me. <clears throat> At the gas station? Oh, there, there, poor lady. And I'll start petting the gas pump. <laughs> Gwen's going to come out and just, like, reorient him. <laughs> She's not going to say anything. She's just going to, like, just turn him slightly. Yeah. Apparently, my uh, my video has frozen. Uh, oh, hey. Yeah, nice pose. But uh, as long as you can hear me fine, I'm, I'm good with that. Yep. Yep. I can um, still hear you. Yeah, so uh, let's see here. And it, like you're not picking your nose or anything like that? No, so it's, it's, it's kind of nice. Still... It's not the worst I've ever been frozen in front of a whole bunch of people. <laughs> that sounds like a fun story. Yeah, yeah. Right, gotcha. Um, God. I had this. I had it. Okay. Where are you, lady? who I wrote is really good. Um, she talks about her husband, Frank, who was, who disappeared uh, the day before. And um, she thinks she, he must be cheating on her. And it's just, it's, it's just hitting her hard. There's been a lot of, uh, there's been a lot of, uh, uh, evidence maybe that he's been sort of hit and miss in the past week or so. <laughs> oh, Don, um, now we're frozen on me, and it's a pretty good shot. Oh, <laughs> goodness. <laughs> well, I don't know. I mean, I see we're Sarah back right now. Yeah, hi, he's moving now. Oh. <laughs> All right. <clears throat> We're back, but we can't see Don other than the frozen Don. Which is uh, this is it's that's a good okay. Don. We call it a Don sickle. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. He's cool. Um yeah. So she talks about how she is um real good friends with the Miller family. Jack and Frank are super close. Um, she's tried to get close to Arlene, but, um, Arlene's a kind of known drunk and it's hard to form a relationship with her. Cause she's... And we're just hanging around listening to this <laughs> in the gas station. Well, I don't know where you this are, but out of our jurisdiction, I do this not is... have a driver's license. I hope not. Ur Ursula comes <laughs> trudging out of the snack bar and just hands the woman a half-finished beer and just heads on up into the bus. <laughs> All right. I'm still waddling my ass with, like, two giant handles and <laughs> then 
like, what the fuck? (laughs) (laughs) Stu, you want some help into the bus? I mean, you could have offered to help carry. That would have been a lot more comfortable. Oh, okay. Well, if you're going to have that attitude, you can do it yourself. (laughs) 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 And I walk into the bus. (laughs) <laughs> Where are we going? Oh, are we oh yeah. Um, I send Ringo back out of the bus to get you. <laughs> what do you want, oh, yeah. animal? I was asking the lady where we go. When? Where are we? Li- are we leaving? <laughs> Dog, I am so when sorry. When are we leaving? <laughs> do we have everybody? Is everybody back? As far as Jean Paul knows, he's been talking to Wynn this whole time and she's just uh, <laughs> complaining about her relationships. <laughs> Still talking. <laughs> Do we invite this woman and her Buick to the Miller farm? <laughs> I mean, oh, yeah. everything's pointing toward weird shit happening at the Miller farm at sundown and then, I don't know, if it's just a party, then we're going to a party. Mm. Everybody down for a party? Party uh, or killing guess. demons? One of the two. It's going to be a hoot. Party demons. Hippity hoppity, let's hey, get I'll probably find answers there. The party demons are my people. I think so. I'm back. I think hey, back. welcome back, Don. Welcome Thank back. you. Hey, Don. We totally won the game while you were gone. Yeah. I heard everything. So no. uh, we're <laughs> yeah. sitting there talking about um, trying to. Yeah, so uh, you're crying. Uh, she's crying. I'm crying. <laughs> Merck suggested that to make her stop crying that I eat her, but that does not feel very sporting to me. Have well. you tried uh, telling her to shut up or you'll give her something to cry about? Classic. It's That's very... more of the Connery bots move. <laughs> <laughs> you have never met a French father. Mm. Uh, anyway, I think we're going to a party at the Millers. Mm. <clears throat> That's well, cool. who are the Millers? You would be going to a party, but those uh, Ursula noticed at first, but uh, it didn't track. It real, doesn't care. It doesn't care <laughs> that uh, there's no one in the driver's seat. Um, the what? next person that shows up um, kind of notices that um, the Schiffer chauffeur is is not there. Um, you mean I lugged all of this vodka in my cavity for no good reason in my cavity <laughs> yikes it was a good reason it was really that's funny start singing funny. cavity right sorry <laughs> that's, that's when dupe starts singing McCavity, right uh. <laughs> the cavity right oh not you <laughs> i love it first it takes one of the handles off you for <laughs> what Whoa. Wow! Just Don the demon, demon hunters, starring <laughs> actual demons. <laughs> actual demons. <laughs> yeah. I don't know what terrifying. just happened. That was awful. <laughs> All right, so we need to find the cipher. Uh, didn't we put like a find my iPhone thing on him? Like. Uh- we found we put a very loud <laughs> shirt on him. Like ferrets, I can follow my nose. Yeah, let's find him. Let's What's have an iPhone. Yeah. Shut up. Let's have you find. Him. Has anyone seen someone who is blue? <laughs> very helpful. And That's actually pretty helpful. Idea. I slept with your mother. <laughs> there he is. There he is. <laughs> I Wait, hear him. Is he, is he sleeping with Buick Lady's husband? It's his native <laughs> call. So when you come back um, off the bus, you, you notice that Professor Pi never actually got onto the bus before you realized the cipher was missing. And is standing there going, having started out very politely, now telling this woman, is it really the right place to be crying in public? That seems like something she should be doing in a private place away from Professor, people who are... I, need to cry for I, I need you for math reasons <laughs> now. Yes. yes. I will handle all of the delicate work with this woman. As oh, God. Walking <laughs> <the> gas pump. <laughs> uh, 
Yeah, okay, I well. I'm able to comfort people. I have a very cuddly disposition. I can comfort the lady or I can track the cipher. What do you want? I need you to track the cipher. I'm just going to push some pheromones into the lady's shoulder. Just like, shh, just chill. Okay. A little bit. Whoa. She forgets dealing with the math teacher. Okay, who let the <laughs> owner spray? <laughs> <laughs> Suddenly, the Frenchman is very horny and does not know why. But uh, he is digging that gas pump. It's, you. Uh, <laughs> Maybe he saw uh, something he liked. Oh. Oh. Well, I do not mean to uh, to alarm you, but I believe the woman that I was just speaking to may be some sort of a succubus or demon. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you think? Very careful. They can be dangerous. I will be so careful. Thank you for the warning. You are very welcome. You can tell because their boner juice has a very specific smell. I'm sorry, did you say <laughs> boner <laughs> juice? <laughs> it's gonna smell like candy. Le boner juice. I can't mm. tell if I'm hoping more or less that students of mine find this stream. Mm. <laughs> Christian? Oh, no, they give off a scent. Christian? Uh-huh. Gain of faith, Doc. <laughs> For... I thought you were going to take the one you gave him back. <laughs> no, no, I'm awarding that shit. All right. <laughs> All right. Oh, de boner juice. What you determine, what you, what she sort of like kind of talks through is that, uh, that there have been a number of disappearances. She's, trying to rationalize all of this and that there's actually been some stranger disappearances lately and um frank disappeared yesterday but you know um jack also disappeared we don't know where jack is and she thought frank went off with jack to go fishing or hunting or something but no one can get a hold of him perhaps when where was Frank, the last place Frank that you and Jack are Frankenjogging? Wow. Frankenjogging? Wow. Sorry, I have it on the brain. It is right. the Right, sure. <laughs> I get it. Um I frequently have it on the brain. I understand. Uh so where was the last place that you saw your husband? Well, he was going to the Miller Farm. Ah uh, yes. Back um, to the Miller Farm. To uh, to meet with Jack. And they were going to go hunting or fishing or something. Uh, how do you get to the Miller farm? I took the road. Right. Th this road? Yeah. In there was only one. Wait. Wow. Oh. Really? Ringo yeah. barks and he has a little road atlas. <laughs> oh, thank you, Ringo. Great. Um, okay. He's traced so out the route. <laughs> is, is this one of those situations You're where really we just red, take man. this road down, down a piece? And we'll mm -hmm. get to the Miller Farm. And so about five miles down the road, you're going to take a right and then another At right. the rooster statue? Okay. And you're going to keep going. And, you're gonna see and then it. you're going to turn left where the big tree I mean, used to be that got hit by lightning? I know that yeah. place. Yeah, yeah. Turn left I mean, by the green bins. Mm -hmm. Good. It's probably going to be hard to miss at this point because it's getting dusk and, you know, it's Halloween and people are, It's it's the place to be tonight. Okay, cool. Um, Stu, you let's have you track the cipher by smell so that we can get him and get out of here. I mean, I guess we could drive, but I prefer not to leave him behind yet. Mm -hmm. We don't need him. I'm an excellent driver. If somebody oh. presses the puddles for me. Okay, well, I mean, if it comes down to it, we can have Ringo drive, but I, last time he did sideswipe that truck, so... Ringo! Are only options, the stuffed rabbit or the dog. Yeah! <laughs> Look, no it, one it, else it, knows how to drive a right. fucking car. Ringo, find the robot man. I'm finding the robot man. Maybe Stu could ride on Ringo's back. Who's done. That? Absolutely done. Couldn't you right. be tracking the succubus? She is right outside of the bus. I know, <laughs> and I am looking into it. Thank you so much. Oh, um, I'm glad that I could be of some use in this chapter. You're so good. Um, 
we're gonna find her. Ooh, that oh, yeah. crazy succubus. Okay, uh, so Stu, I helped Stu up onto the back of Ringo, and they set off to find <laughs> the cipher. Okay. So, uh, as I, I need to roll to ride doggy back, or like <laughs> dog back riding. Um, you know. I think you could probably ha hang on to a collar. Does he have a collar? Ringo has a whole harness. Yeah, okay. So you, it's not a problem to hook well, yourself like into he, that. Uh, but okay. you're not okay. supposed to pet him. He's a work dog. Right. Yeah. And he's working right now. True. We need to roll. We don't use honestly, dice this session. <laughs> dice I'm so fluffy and so light. He might not even notice that I'm there. Yeah. Um, That's true. So let's have Stu make a a roll of some kind. What do you want to do? Do you want to create an advantage of like um, creating some dice and kind of know where you're going, or do you want to just like discover information uh, um, or like overcome something? Uh, I think I think. We can create an advantage. Yeah. Uh, Ooh. Yes. Somebody ooed at me. I want to use my uh, fate dancing to uh, flashily overcome an obstacle using the dog. <laughs> Hunt down the trail where we're supposed to be going. <laughs> okay. Finding it completely by accident. All right. I hope well. Okay. And that just happens, or no? No, I got to roll. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> okay. I'm I'm writing down all the dice. Got it. Badly again. Oh, I do not have permission. To... Oh, the wrong thing. I'm in the wrong thing. Okay. No, no, I I do have an advantage um, when I do something super cute um, in order to create an advantage. And I What's think a bunny rabbit. Bunny riding, riding a dog. dog. That yeah, dog. is pretty freaking cute. <laughs> cute. Pretty adorable. Yeah. Um, but there's probably like a song about that. Yeah, probably. Um, it probably like a uh, come on little doggy, but uh, yeah, I think uh, what what do you got, Christian? Poor Ringo has seen a squirrel and is taken off in a random direction, <laughs> dragging you behind him. <laughs> <laughs> right up, doggy. Result. Okay, ten. well, in that case, I'm going to try to since I am on his back. Um, I am going to. Uh, attempt to cleverly, I guess, um, with, uh, 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 oh god. Uh, I guess I would roll on fringe because I'm a, 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 um, an animated child, or animated child's toy. Uh, yeah, actually, an animated child's yeah. toy. That's fucking weird. Um, <laughs> to, uh, uh, rein him in and be adorable. Um, or a chew toy. Cool. Let's let's do this. Or a chew toy. I mean, one of the two. We're gonna find out real fast, huh? Um, but I get a I get a plus two on it. So what do I what do I need to do to beat that? Um, you just need to roll, and I need to decide. And you need to decide. Oh, okay. Oh, here. I don't. Why don't I attempt to actually use our roll die? Okay. Thing. So dash uh, roll. Okay. Dash roll, and then whatever your dice are that you're gonna roll. Um, I'm on a D ten and a D eight. Yes. All right, eleven, and then I get a. I guess I get a plus two on that. Yeah. Thirteen. So thirteen. So um, I'm right. <laughs> the two of you are able to kind of uh, figure this out. So. The dog goes chasing after, after a squirrel. Um, the rabbit uh, endos over the dog. The dog catches the rabbit because it's awesome. 
and shakes the rabbit because it's fun. But the rabbit is having a lot of fun. It doesn't even hurt. Yeah. And they both, at the same time, smell carrots. Um, and the carrots are heading... Toward where? the middle. Toward the middle. Toward the middle farm! Shocking. Right. Yeah. So does yeah. this mean if if the carrots are heading toward the Miller farm, does that mean that we need to chase our cipher oh, chauffeur or cipher chauffeur uh, in the <laughs> car? Because I'm here for another doggy doggy bunny uh, team up on the uh, on the driving on the driving. As Ringo has left my side unexpectedly, I will be driving. No. <laughs> no. Uh. <laughs> Back here, you stupid dog! The dog is the only thing that keeps him from getting behind the wheel. <laughs> <laughs> All right. One thing you find out quickly about JP is that he's uh, wildly overconfident for a blind man. <laughs> okay, uh, JP, uh, you need to roll an overcome roll to drive this thing at a 20. <laughs> <laughs> Wow, that doesn't seem high enough. <laughs> I, I'm gonna be no, doing some math. No, to keep wait. Him from going uh, off road. <laughs> what he doesn't understand, though, is that uh, Wen saw that this is a thing that he likes to do all the time, and so she set up the passenger seat. Nice. Like a play school. Like a play school <laughs> with pedals. Busy box. Yeah, with pedals and the thing, and so um, porn. Yeah. All, okay. All the stuff. When you need to, you need Don't to roll. A, sure. You need to roll a create an advantage, uh, against a fifteen. Here's what I'm gonna do. Um, I'm gonna use my stunt. Are you gonna use your fortune magic? Because that's what I'm gonna do. <laughs> um, because I have a photographic memory, once per um, session, I automatically keep a style of, ones. while creating an advantage or overcoming an obstacle using my memory. I remember what he's doing. <laughs> <laughs> so I had, I had set this up like those cars in, uh, the driver's ed, except that nothing's hooked up on the passenger side. Very good. I literally rolled two ones. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I am I am sitting at the back of the bus facing the wrong direction. <laughs> holding, on to a, holding on to a pizza box like a steering wheel. Yeah. He's doing it. He's doing it so good though. Like if this were a movie, you you would be so offended for any blind people you knew right now. <laughs> okay. Yeah. I'm glad we don't make movies. Yeah. <laughs> um so I'm gonna say then to Jean-Paul George. Hey bud, can you get us to the Miller's farm? <laughs> you gonna drive or no? You driving? I'm, I'm on my way. You know, okay. I <laughs> Great. All right. And the one and the two and the way we go. All right. <laughs> Ursula's standing over his shoulder. She's got her bottle of vodka with a curly straw in it. She's just making motor noises. Just. <laughs> 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 Every so Ursula. often, like shaking his chair a little bit. So I like that we haven't even been in a fight yet. And you're already humoring me. <laughs> <laughs> uh, like, Ursula, what, gain a face die. Excellent. <laughs> Um, uh, do we need someone to like get out and push? Because it seems like we're not going very fast. I mean, okay. Are, 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 are our dog and pony now? You're doing I'm, great, bud. I, I, I feel like you're following. Uh, surely you're following the dog and the bunny. Like we're we're leading the way. We're blazing that trail. Okay. Um. Then it looks like I'm driving. So there's literally <laughs> maybe two and a half people in this group <laughs> that could do this. No, <laughs> Ursula is busy humoring Jean. Uh, it's, it's a bus, and therefore a stick. And no. Yeah. 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 I, I was going I mean, to you could, ask. you could, you know, but. Like, really, this is amazingly challenging for this group. So we've got a blind dude, a guy that, uh, you know, like was 16 in like 
the year 1100, uh, <laughs> a one-armed bandit, and this is obviously a stick because it's a big bus. Yeah. Uh, a bunny. Um, well, a, a math teacher, bunny. which, I mean, like, you know, how well do they drive? I think I think it may come mean? down to me though. What? I can drive. <laughs> Why aren't you letting me drive? What is the problem? I think they're worried about what a succubus is going to do with a stick. I mean, they shouldn't be. I'm very skilled with it. <laughs> you know, with the, oh. <laughs> also, you probably learned to drive on, over the you know, a stick. I have learned how to drive on everything. No need to drive. <laughs> I'm a million years old. I can drive every vehicle there is. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. That's, That's where I was going to go with that. Yep, 100%. Hold on. I think we are going somewhere. <laughs> Tell me what you need. Do you need me to roll to drive this car? Or is it fine that I drive? I think you should roll. OK. <laughs> um, also, I want everybody to know that demons don't die the same way people do. So <laughs> if this goes horribly wrong, I can teleport my ass out of here before it explodes. All right. What am I rolling? Good with that. Been resurrected once. Whatever you feel like. All right. I'm going to be careful, I guess. Roll. Careful. Oh, no, you're doing it wrong. OK. Then Whatever I'll be very you are sneaky. doing, Wayne, I wish you luck. Be careful, there's a succubus nearby. Thank you very much, dear. Um, I mean, I guess... The end boss of this entire session is getting to the farm. <laughs> <laughs> like four blocks. <laughs> I didn't roll... I, I have to add a thing. Sorry, I have to add one more. Nice. You rolled a one out of a one. No. Mm. Roll. <laughs> oh. I didn't add the other aspect. Let's try that again. Roll D8. Plus. D8 plus. Oh, I guess it's 2D8. Can I use my fringe for this? Yeah, I don't know. You tell I think me. I can because I'm 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 forever. drawing on my experience <laughs> as a long life. I'm sure this you is, have driven many vehicles. I have driven so many I mean, vehicles. This is literally the least fringe thing we've ever done. But Sarah, <laughs> you got to put the dash before the roll. Oh god damn it! <laughs> Math. One D it is a problem. It is a problem. Plus one D ten. <laughs> Answer. Thirteen. Dang. That is enough. Yeah, it is. It fucking better be a car. <laughs> God damn it! Driver said that any sixteen-year-old could pass. Yeah. Uh, you're able All right, to. Blind guy. Drive you... your pizza box. I <laughs> am, and I am doing an amazing job. <laughs> and uh, you, you drive down the road about two miles. Um, a piece and, and uh, before too long you can see up ahead as the as the sun is uh, setting below the uh, hillside off in the, the distance that there's a line of cars that sort of line the highway there um, and it's not real clear. There are uh, two farms. There's one turn off and then there's another one. Um, and they both have lights on. Um, you... Which one has a party? Yeah. Um, Maybe both? Yeah, no, <laughs> I don't think there's any. Well, I don't know. It's kind of okay. Who uh, hired the disco lights and the DJ? That's where's the bouncy house. Well, where's the bouncing bunny? Like yeah, where's uh, the bunny? Roll, roll, and overcome to discern which farm you need to go to. B to five. Who are you talking to? You. Me. Good thing we like went but up I'm a level. I'm following the bunny. Oh, okay. So I guess I could. I'm a party animal. Um, I party so hard. All right. All of the kids want to take me to bed. 
Um, Whoa. In a different way than people are expecting out of my mouth. All right. Uh, Too many things to say. All right. Uh, oh, gosh. What would I roll on that? Oh, I, I could roll covert ops, I guess. Um, totally. Yeah. Covert ops, and uh, I'm going to be sneaky about it because I'm not sure how much we want to. Oh, and why do I keep grabbing those? So guys? the rabbit and the dog carefully sneak up, followed by, by the, the by bus. By a bus. <laughs> Don't <laughs> tour us. No way is it going to go poorly for us. I'm I'm rolling, um, I'm cleverly using using social engineering to try to determine where they're going. I got an 11. And have we managed to turn off the exterior disco lights on the bus? Uh, those are essential, sir. Yeah. Oh, yeah. one yeah. eight six. All right, here we go. Oh, fourteen. Yeah, you know what? where you're going, and I know how to follow you. Uh, you both succeed with style. You go both gain a boost. You can decide what that means to you. Um, it's a free aspect with a free die six on it. Um, <laughs> And uh, uh, you do not miss the light it, Ferris wheel off in the distance and searchlights, uh, spotlights that are going. Um, and uh, yeah, uh, it's this farm. This first farm is not the farm you're looking for. No. The next not. farm is clearly the farm you're looking for. Great. I head to that second farm. You head to the second farm. The, uh, as I you, said, the. Is it a personal boost or is it a group boost that anybody can tap into? Personal. Great. <clears throat> and it is kind of a weird place, a real funny farm. Thank you, Mark. Um, as dust settles over the farm and temperature begins to drop. The overhead lights around the farm have come on, and it's as like you... Stu prophesized. <clears throat> <Yeah>. <laughs> it's a busy scene with town folk partaking in the Halloween uh, festivities. You, you see that there's a lot of uh, cars parked along the way, um, and parking isn't really real clear on where you're supposed to go, except that there's that one guy um, that has, like, the flashlight, and he's like doing this and mm -hmm. he guides you to a spot um that is like one farm down the road oh no uh, i don't go that far away i park okay. where i would like near the farm <laughs> <laughs> so like on the road yeah we might have to get out of here in a hurry okay <laughs> i don't want to park a farm down i Probably can't definitely We're ex so there so uh the way it works is that there's a there's a highway, mm -hmm. and then there's the turnoff mm -hmm. for the farm. So you can turn down that road, cars lined all the way. Yeah. Um, and then there's like a booth and a fence line, and the booth like is like an arch, right? Mm -hmm. um, and there's cars, and so like you could just pull the bus up like along cars and block them in, or yeah, doing that. Sure. Mm. Park in my... Very judgy. I'm, I'm, I'm a very judgy math teacher, so I'm like, <laughs> give it a look. But you're my chapter leader, so. Yeah. Yeah, what happened to the last members of the chapter? <laughs> Just saying. <laughs> if we had a cipher, we'd have like valet parking, right? We would, yeah. Well, when we find him, he'll find a better spot. You want yeah, me to yeah. find the parking spots? No problem. Yes, can you park for us, please? <laughs> Did you find it? I don't know. Do you feel good about it? I want to admit something to you. I have never driven a car before today. You you <laughs> did the most amazing job, for real. <laughs> I know. Good. Thank God. All right, we are parked. Uh, you have parked. <laughs> Those are the noises that Ursula makes for her. <laughs> 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 it's the sound that Ursula makes for everything. <laughs> Just constantly. 
drinks a beer. That's right. <laughs> She's Ursula has stopped communicating in language. She just makes noises. She just bullies everything around her. <laughs> okay. Um so you've parked mm -hmm. you 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 debus. Mm-hmm. And then you know hit the little <laughs> the, put on the little thing. Yeah. Yeah. Make sure that nobody can break into our sweet tour bus. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I'm still sitting the there. windows that you have to like press the tabs in, are they mm -hmm. all they're all rolled yeah. up? Good. Bar the door. No, we don't need to bar the door. That's not oh. We locked it. We locked that's, it. That's not a thing anymore these days. Hello, could you let me out of the bus? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I want to come out to the party as well. <laughs> Like Just I said, no. bar the door. All right. I love <laughs> how Jean Paul. No, I am. Uh, I am very turned around right now. You, but you are not on the bus anymore. <laughs> ah, that would explain the grass. Thank you. You're welcome. <laughs> all right, and you. So you're all out, out of the bus. The bus <laughs> is um, closed and locked, thanks to when. Yeah. And what you see is um, uh, a okay, a gravel uh, sort of entryway. There's like a little booth with an arch around it. Um, and there's, you know, people sort of in line waiting uh, to pay tickets to get in. And you see that uh, tickets are um, $10 for adult and free for kids under uh, 12 um so if you're 13 you're an adult what about collective Ooh. age of behavior so there's that um it, are people I, like in costume is this like a oh yeah costume yeah. cool um For one's sure. going to let her horns out then um she'll go appearance wise like full succubus right on. um She's going to walk past the line and yeah. she's going to not pay to get in. They uh, immediately, they're like, whoa, 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 hang on, hang on. You, you got to pay. You got to pay to get in because that's, you got to support the Millers. I am, I am, I'm part of the, yeah, I obviously am supporting the Millers. Yeah. Um, I, uh, I'm going to pheromone his, like, pat his face. <laughs> Are you going to attack, or what's your what's your idea here? Uh, it's not an a, a, an attack attack. I just want him to be on my side. <clears throat> overcome. Overcome. That sounds like overcome. Yeah. <laughs> okay. I think that's an opposed overcome. Opposed overcome. <clears throat> All right. Um, I feel like. This is kind of a sneaky thing that she's doing. Because that feels correct. She's not saying I'm using things on you right now. Um, Looks like and, you need a beat of 10. All right. And obviously using succubus. So let's see. That is a 12. What do you say? Uh... I just say, I, I, of course, I don't. I don't have to pay. That's and they wouldn't want me to pay. And then I push a little pheromones like into his face. Oh That's yeah, an active place to push pheromones. Duh, duh, they were hired. Shut up. <laughs> uh, okay. Uh, of course. Uh, so and... I guess if my team was close to me, they're also getting in. But if they weren't, they're going to have to pay. <laughs> <laughs> Trokar takes his shirt off, flexes, and follows we, you. Yeah, we must <laughs> look like uh, just the weirdest ragtag band of folk. JP takes his earlier poker winnings from Ursula out of his pocket and lays the wad of Monopoly money down on the counter. And <laughs> <laughs> Keeps a change. That gets a real kick out of him. And uh... I add a 1,000-year-old silver piece. 
Perfect. <laughs> 29 left, I suppose, huh? <laughs> <laughs> okay. Well, as you uh, enter through, there is a, uh, a lot to see. So, um, right in front of you, there is a small booth um, with a police officer sitting at it. And it looks rather like out of place, but mm. also front and center, like, hey, I'm here, so notice me kind of thing. Behind the... <laughs> Uh, the police officer is, and that booth, is the farmhouse. Um, and that is all, like, there's no lights in the house. It's dark. Um, and there is a woman in her 50s, and she uh, leaves out the front door and heads towards the barn. You look towards that way, and there is a line of people that are um, outside of the barn, and then you see that there is a bunch of lights going on inside the barn. Um, and it looks like they're, they're taking tickets to go inside uh, as well. And there is a sign on the, that goes over the double barn doors that says the Barn of Booze. Um, Ursula is already farthest. at the Barn of Booze. <laughs> right. <laughs> Ursula is heading there. Um, so... There would be a beer garden. There's kind of a chicken fence thing that's there. No one's really keeping track at all. Sure. Um, in fact, uh, as you look at that and you look back to the police officer, the police officer, she is uh, taking a nip from her flask. Great. And, oh, um, great. Wonderful. So that doesn't seem to be an issue. Uh, the closer look, you see that the police officer is hawking free safety supplies oh, uh which great. happen to be mostly condoms and other uh paraphernalia of a similar sort also um a breathalyzer uh, that is there uh on your way out as a what free these, service what are these strange sheep intestines um they're uh, gloves for oh, finger gloves all right Fing finger yeah. gloves absolutely yeah in fact you should probably put some on for safety well done <laughs> for car safety. takes 10. <laughs> <laughs> also if you can squeeze some of the larger ones onto your feet also that would be great fair enough okay oh, oh. Oh. i am okay. going oh. to oh. yell Hippity hoppity, let's get sloppy and run toward the booze barn. Okay, so Ursula and the bunny, <laughs> not even checking in, are heading to the booze barn. I just uh, scoop I her up and set her on my shoulder. I mean, <laughs> no one. Very conspiratorially towards my uh, chapter leader. Yes. So, okay. Uh, you look around for the cipher. I and the dog will hunt down the succubus. I fear she has struck again. Great. <laughs> I, haven't you... even I haven't even started describing what's to your left. No, um, I'm going to let him go. Go search for the succubus. He picks okay. the direction randomly. Mm -hmm. Left sounds great. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> when you, you see... Um, you see your teammate wander off uh, to the left where there is a clear trick-or-treat shack. Oh, God. With, with um, and, and it's kind of like one of those uh, uh, makeshift, like, uh, sheds that you buy at Home Depot. Um, uh -huh. But uh, there is, like, a bar that's built on the front of it. And uh, there are... Uh, two uh, two girls and one guy that are not dressed a lot um, and they are uh, holding treats and uh, there are people in costumes and there's like a trick-or-treat thing going on what? sometimes what do you mean by not dressed a lot not dressed a lot um, there's they um, it's uh, yeah, it's like um, not you know, 
Yeah. They're they're dressed a bit like um but like Doom Squad. Yeah. Um anyway. And now uh, Wen is wandering off away from your exposition zone. <laughs> yeah. Wen just ate. Oh. Yes, she's fine. No. Um like that. And uh, so but Tricks. from there there is also another sort of like uh gazebo not a gazebo, uh like a outdoor tent kind of thing. And underneath the, like they got Christmas like white Christmas lights that are going to kind of brighten it up. And they have a kiddie pool uh filled with apples mm -hmm. um that people uh are topless uh uh bobbin for the apples. Right. Um, on upon closer inspection, you're not sure it's water they're floating in. Gotcha. Um, okay. So uh, what? Behind that, uh, there is a line of pickup trucks that are facing outwards. So the the tailgates are facing you, mm -hmm. and so, many of them have like barbecues, and essentially it looks like. Um, you know, like a, a tailgate row where um, they are sort of selling food out of the back of their trucks. Um, there is also another uh, small tent where uh, there's like big lights and it's like pumpkin carving top contest. Um, and you see people with like big, like there's one, uh, one like 12 year old girl who is going at a uh a, this huge pumpkin with a like a really cheap knockoff samurai sword oh. um right and and uh yeah so that's going on um and then off in the distance you see um the ferris wheel that is deep into the corn um and there's a cornfield and then there's the lighted entrance um, called the Impassable Maze. Um, well, that's where everybody got lost. Mm -hmm. And it's Impassable, M-A-I-Z-E. Right. Clever. Um, yeah. Um, so, and then um, above that, though, is this kind of hazy, cloudy, foggy stuff. Um, definitely thicker above the corn, mm -hmm. but, um, it's sort of like, if you look up, the light sort of shines and there's kind of a light fog in the air, uh, over, um, the whole kind of area. Um, which is unnatural. Yeah. Like, it's um, not like weather condition. This is call hail the glow cloud. I mean, it's, it is chilly, so it could be fog. Um, you also notice that uh, behind the house there is a bonfire going okay. on, and there's some people kind of gathered around that. Um, uh, ages tend to range all over the place. Um, there's oh, you know, there's college people doing crazy college kids things. There is like middle school people. There's like you know young kids uh, running around. Um, there's like little carnival rides, um, but real makeshift, like farm, like mm -hmm. wooden carved kind of things. Um, and then there's old folks also just kind of like, you know, having a good time. A uh, lot of older guys, older white guys specifically, hanging Ready? around the barn of booze that? on the outside. Shockingly. Um, drinking beer. Um, so where if anywhere here do i feel my people well what do you mean your people wow D demons <laughs> got political bit. oh all right yeah <laughs> nowhere no demons in the area no hmm. absolutely no infernal detection whatsoever then interesting as a math teacher, I'll go talk to the next worst thing that could be here. And I, I unbutton the top collar or the top button of my polo to get into this bacchanalian mood and walk over to the cop. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I love it. <laughs> and 
I I obviously feel a kinship with this this person here who is put upon, set upon even, and is also terrible. Um, and so I attempt to bond over the disappearance of Jack Miller. Apparently, isn't this his farm? Where did he go? And uh, you, uh, who you speak to is um, Lieutenant uh, uh, Val Thurston. And Thirsty Thurston. <laughs> <laughs> Get it with that lower lowered button, man. You got this. Oh yeah. <laughs> And she looks at you and she says, oh, you want to know? You want to know what's happened to the Millers? Oh, there's all kinds of things going on here. You know, um, but first and foremost, these kids, they don't even know what they're doing. You know, I, I, I'm, I just got to make sure that as few people get impregnated tonight as possible. You know what I'm saying? Like it's, it's like fourth period. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah. It's like fourth period, I guess. Um, you know, uh, the captain, he's out on the street and you know, he's looking out, but honestly, like if you're driving home, you're really stupid tonight. You know what I mean? So don't worry. You're not driving home. We're going to get our cyborg cipher, our cipher show that thing, and we'll be cipher fine. Cipher, cipher show at the dock. <laughs> <laughs> nothing weird here. Nothing to see. Yeah. <laughs> so, um, just, hey, just real quick, do put your goddamn shirt back on. <laughs> <laughs> Terms of service, buddy. If, they, if you see your nipples, they just shut us you know, down. I, I got scared uh, wearing a red shirt again. Like, it seemed like it was like a death sentence. I think the death sentence is you bringing up cats. So I think we're okay. <laughs> as long the, as you don't start singing. Uh, Chris, oh, the, ne the next musicals. time, the next, the, the first time that you roll demon dice, you have to roll two. Ooh. I'm doing that. <laughs> <laughs> so far tonight that's not much of a threat <laughs> yeah um now as far as scene aspects go um i'm not going to write these on the sheet because i'm having issues running everything tonight so you'll have to kind of figure this out but what we have here are sharp knives at the pumpkin carving contest a big pile of pumpkins safety supplies no those are all used already no no there's a lot more <laughs> okay she's got boxes tailgate row and questionable apples and candy mm. those are the same questionable apples and candy are one aspect yeah okay. two different kind of locations but it's the same aspect um yeah they're not questionable candy apples because that would make sense um is it one invoke for each of them done there's no invokes on any of them they're just there and you can they're just there, just there and gotcha. you have them available to you should you like um i would like to ask for two more though I painted the picture. What do you see? Uh, chatty drunkards. Oh, that's good. Yeah, chatty drunkards. Okay. And surly carnies. Kettle full of corn. Yeah. A kettle full of surly carnies. Gross. I think that makes sense. Maybe I'm by the end of the season. I'm going to just assume that there are bins of empty bottles ready to glass people with. Oh, oh yeah. <laughs> Let's go with that. Instead of the carnies? Yeah. He's going to shank some folks. All Barrels right, so. of empty bottles. Drunk men with two first names. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not going to give you that as an aspect, but you go right ahead and work that in. 
you have chatty locals as well. I feel so like that's going to happen. Locals. Yeah. Yeah, that's great. <clears throat> nice job. I need to uh, maybe start uh, developing less scene aspects and asking for more of you because those are great. Um, all right. So you have various places here. We have two members at at the least going to the barn. We have one member definitely going in the direction of the sort of uh, events that are happening, who's also blind. Right. Mm -hmm. I don't know where his dog is going. He, uh, he, he's keeping, like, he, as you see me, like, walking, like, I almost walk into several things and get a quick tug out of the way from this dog, who mm. I immediately scold. <laughs> <laughs> The dog has this look on his face like, this is my job. <laughs> like any appliance from the Flintstones. Yeah. Um, I think I would like to check out um, the bonfire first. Okay. All right. So... Um, now, what we're going to talk about here is uh, zones. So now in this game, we haven't really done this in, in like our online sessions, but in the game, there are things called zones. And the, uh, one zone is like if you were to just m take a move in your action, you could move anywhere in one zone within reason and be able to do something. Right. If, if you need to go to another zone, like that's your action, okay. is to is to get to a zone. Gotcha. Um, so, um, so the bonfire is a zone. This entrance area that we're talking about, the the the, the farm entrance is a zone. Um, the barn of booze is a zone. Um, and. I'm going to include all of the, like, the, the events as part of the, the Miller Farm entrance area. So that's all the same thing as, is like, you know, the tailgate row and the pumpkin park carving and all that. Like, that's all kind of immediate right up front. Um, so I hear two people going to, to the zone of the Barnaboos. One person when is going to the zone of a bonfire We've got one person uh plus the dog is staying in the present zone um the teacher is gonna stay here as well uh I or what think are you doing i'm talking to the cop until i decide that she has no further information um and if that's already happened i'm gonna head to check out the maze because splitting the party as many ways as possible will have the most hilarious results. That's the idea. I'm going to follow <laughs> the first person whose voice I recognize. There you go. I, I'm going to amend something really quickly. Um, where is the highest concentration of children? Uh, they're going to be at the uh, the apple and the the apple bobbing and the, um, uh, the pumpkin, pumpkin carving. carving. Yeah. The, the, the topless boozy apple bobbing? Oh. <laughs> Trokar is actually trying to instruct the uh, girl with the horribly terrible katana carving a pumpkin on how to use a katana. Oh, so nice. is nobody going to the booze part anymore? Well, uh, Ursula's gone there. Oh, um, yeah. Down there, that's right. And she oh. hasn't looked back once, so... I, um, I, feel like, I feel like I might be compelled to try to commune with children. Uh, that makes sense. You, make sense. uh... You start I, off... I, am, I am a I am something that children are naturally want to tell their fears to. So you're on Ursula's so shoulder, and you happen to look over and hear the sort of like squeals of children. You look back, and you immediately just jump off, and uh, you you head that direction. Um, and uh, let's see here. Um, do, 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 do. I wish I could make that smaller. Let's just put that over there and click it. 
Um, all right. So I don't know if uh, you who are not watching at home can see the timer, but that there is a timer going. They can. Um, and uh, the thing that I want to point out is that I need to make a couple of rolls here. So, uh, roll. John starts a timer on us and then takes a sweet time making some rolls. <laughs> <laughs> he starts talking lower for no reason. Okay. Today, like a lot of quarantined Americans, we uh, made sourdough pizza crust, and uh, I thought that like about like nine minutes was right about perfect time. <laughs> Information I will absolutely use one day. You might. I might. Ugh. One, two, three, four, five. So is this is this timer to see who talks first? No, nope. <laughs> it's it's basically Don timing himself. That's it. Yeah. <laughs> Ten minutes of uninterrupted diet rolling. <laughs> <laughs> it was my turn. I gave you a three-minute warning. That's right. Well, it's, your three minutes is up. It's the new like ASMR channel. Just. Five full hours of dice. Do you guys hear the timer? <laughs> and uh, I have Christian. I've forgotten your character's name, and he leaves. Jean Paul well, George and Ringo. Thank you, Jean Paul yeah. George. <laughs> uh, Jean Paul. Uh, True to form, he's. It's wandered off. Yeah. <laughs> no, I am. I am right here. I've been here the whole time. Actually, he. All three of them walked across the street, on the crosswalk. <laughs> yeah. I. Uh, you. Um. Take a mild condition called infected. <laughs> what? I. I just randomly catch a condition. Just <laughs> randomly catch a condition, called infected. I mean, did you have a mask on? Oh, yes. Good question. <laughs> uh, let's see here. I've not talked to anybody. I've, I've done the least amount of things since gotten here. <laughs> yeah. I think that's what's doing it. Uh, and oh, come on. <laughs> that was my first. I'm not shouting at the world right this second interaction since I got to this place. <laughs> and. Uh, I don't have your people's names. Uh, Dupe, your character. Um, Trocar! You Christos. take a mild infected condition. Infected. Okay. Uh, COVID? Uh, Not nope. mild. Just, just infected, mild. Um, let's see here. Infected 19. Okay. Nope, doesn't get when, doesn't get the bunny. I have nothing to infect. It weirdly passes over the supernatural people <laughs> in the group. How weird. <laughs> and did not affect Ursula. Wow. Okay. She's also supernatural. She's just super. So, I'm just super. <laughs> are we aware of like um, like some something that is infecting us or? You are. Feel you are not feeling well. Um, you uh, you immediately start kind of getting kind of a, uh, just like a dryness and the dryness up here. Oh, your good. skin your skin itches a little no, bit. No, I can't be around for this. I've had this before. Like uh, you get a bunch of like. Um, uh, cultists around you, they're like all like ah, and then like someone's got a cold, and then everyone's got a cold. Yeah, no, it's it's not good. So, um, anyway, uh, that's all that happens there. Uh, all right, so oh no, actually, you know what? This might be fatal. Christian is like no longer with us. 
<laughs> oh dear. He was an old man. <laughs> uh, yeah. <laughs> he lived a good yeah, life. I don't know where you guys got the impression that he was an old man. Good. <laughs> <laughs> I just need to prepare myself. I was not trigger warning about the disease spreading. Uh, I'll be a minute. Fair enough. He lived a It's actually life. a computer virus. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Uh, when let's start with you. Uh, All right. You head out to the bonfire, um, and uh, there is pallets and uh, barn debris and um, uh, you know, st like uh, old wagon wheels and stuff. Uh, there's a couch that they're like gonna throw on. Um, Okay. And, and uh, yeah, they're they're having a good time, um, and uh, yeah. So, um, what do you do? Uh, I want to sort of do a circle of the the bonfire and just sort of look to see if there's anything that stands out in a weird way to me that like wouldn't shouldn't be here. Yeah. Okay. Uh, roll a overcome roll, uh, and try and beat a 10. Okay. Um, I want to be sort of unobtrusive, so I'm going to do, um, I'm going to do it kind of sneakily. Um, and I feel like this is maybe a covert ops situation. Which okay. isn't my best role, but it feels like it's the correct thing story-wise. So, who knows? I don't see anything. <laughs> uh, you did roll maxima. Oh, no. Never mind. No. Nope. Uh, there, there are demon dice there, if you'd like. And you had a boost. Oh, I did have a boost. I can use my boost, which is uh, I bring the party... There you go. One D six. I got two more, so I got a ten. All right. Well, that's enough. Uh, you bring the party, and <laughs> do. Um, someone. Uh, one girl pushes a guy into the fire, who catches oh. fire. Oh god. Um, and then jumps out and rolls. Um and catch it and like uh puts himself out and gives her uh like a slap of like a hell yeah situation oh. um and and uh then he tosses her and throws her right into the middle of the fire um and she doesn't come out cool dude mm. bros or dead bros um do we have Communication devices between us. Uh, if you create an advantage, you could. I can totally yell. I know you can, buddy. Um, <laughs> yeah, I feel like I would like to try to um, create an advantage that we maybe have earpieces that we could chat sure. with each other. Um, that feels like a clever thing. Because that's clever. Whatever's clever. For us to be able to talk to each other. Um, and I think it's social engineering because we're being social. I feel okay. okay. I don't know what I need to hit, but I got a 10. Okay. Um, that is enough to say that you have uh, communication great um and you have one uh die six on it and okay. uh that seems to be working okay for you great i want to communicate to the team that people are throwing other people into the bonfire maybe could use some backup all right um let's turn to uh ursula who um Ursula, she's pretty good backup. She's, she's it, my favorite backup. 
you've made it to uh, the uh, the front of the line. They want twenty bucks for you to come in, um, but it's basically all you can drink inside after that. That sounds like a bargain. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> You I'm not going to fight him on that. <laughs> you, you pay the $20. I walk in. I immediately craft a beer helmet out of two pony kegs. <laughs> yes. Put that up onto my head. That's so. right. There's a guy. Um, he's got dark hair um, and uh, a goatee. And he's wearing a red shirt. And he's, like, doing this. And he comes over and he, like, hands you a Dixie Is cup. Is this dupe? <laughs> and he's like, you got to try this. <laughs> uh, I'm glad you're here. And uh, um, <laughs> and it says uh, nuke the gay baby whales <laughs> for Jesus on his shirt. All um, right, I'm getting duping drunk. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, you you down this drink, and he is is duping drunken, <laughs> and everybody around goes duping drunken. <laughs> And he says, I'm Chris. <laughs> Ursula. I, I feel like I should protest, but I've actually seen this scene. <laughs> <laughs> it's all true. Yeah. And he says, I, I saw you. I just felt like you needed this drink. I like your style with the, the kegs. You should, you should do that. Uh, I got more in the back over here if you want. And he turns over and he's got like another one and he's like, you! And he heads over <laughs> and uh, and like is grooving and, and hands somebody another Dixie cup. <laughs> All right. <laughs> um, I, oh, am man. I taking any conditions for that? <laughs> Probably. <laughs> I've had dupe drinks before. So. <laughs> roll an overcome roll. Okay. <laughs> uh, Let's see. Uh, call it social engineering. <laughs> Eleven. <laughs> You take a mild condition called dupe and drunk. All right. <laughs> Cheers. <laughs> All right. I'm uh, I'm you hanging back along a, the wall. Just kind there's of. A, there's a free invoke on that that you feel like you could invoke. Excellent. <laughs> it probably yeah. involves taking another condition though. All right. <laughs> Probably worth it. <laughs> worth it. <laughs> but yeah, I'm uh, I'm hanging back. I'm nursing my pony kegs and just kind of checking the crowd to see if I can spot anyone not acting like a drunken idiot, someone suspicious. <laughs> oh well. Um, so what you do None see is there's a guy with like a long beard and pink sunglasses indoors with like a, a cap on and a winter coat um, and he's grooving um, and he slaps Chris, Chris's hand, takes a, a, a Dixie cup, slams it and tells a joke and everyone in the area laughs like hell. Um, and one person pukes. Uh, it's not the guy in the glasses. Um, and uh, yeah, so you see that, um, and you think the guy's name is Christian. <laughs> oh, no. So to clarify, I have not seen anyone not acting like a drunken idiot. <laughs> <laughs> yes, <laughs> not out of the ordinary. Um, so far, it seems like a pretty good job right now. Um, you also see uh, uh, a, a gal in her, well, um, she's young. It's kind of ageless. Uh, gorgeous. She, there, is a, there is like a, a makeshift. Whoops. 
<laughs> this was going to be good. There's no, a, no. There is a makeshift uh, like pole that has been erected um, in the center of the dance floor. Um, and there are uh, acrobats that are swinging around it. Robotic um, acrobats. <laughs> <laughs> not not robotic but, acrobats uh, <laughs> acrobats yeah there you go um acrobat the the dark-haired uh female is uh clearly um doing a impromptu um uh not strip but um uh like a burlesque kind of situation <laughs> is it a waltz no waltz. waltz. <laughs> Actually, yeah, it's a, a burlesque waltz. Burlesque waltz. Yeah. They look the same to me. I yes. But it's a, it's a three four time, so it's totally different. Yeah. Yeah. I get it. The guy in the red shirt, uh, uh, after she sort of completes a move, uh, brings her a jello shot, and she high fives him. Um. <laughs> You okay. also look. You also look over, and you see. Um, at first, you think it's a really cute girl, uh, but then she's got short hair and a mustache, um, and she's <laughs> totally like sporting this sort of uh, top with a heart right in the center here. Um, <laughs> and holy shit, is that bow from Shira? <laughs> um, and everybody is like really into it um, and uh, and Chris like fist bumps her and uh, gives her a Disky, Dixie cup and and uh, it's just, she uh, Chris is just getting everyone drunk <laughs> that's right like... yeah um, that's cool. what he does and, um, and so uh, there is a mustache bristle that they both do at each other. <laughs> There's like, <laughs> yes, and it's uh, it's my stash awesome. challenge is your stash. That's right. <laughs> There's a mustache challenge going on. <laughs> Everyone's a winner. There's so many things to say about that. That's <laughs> wow. A lot of baggage to unpack. <laughs> Wait. <laughs> That's right. There we go. <laughs> That's right. I keep this right by my bed. You don't know. <laughs> yep. All right. So, is there anyone not acting like a drunken idiot? <laughs> I'm looking nope. for suspicious people <laughs> at this <laughs> drunken party. <laughs> Well, there's it's one great guy... that all my friends are here. <laughs> <laughs> there's one guy towards the back. He's got like slicked back hair and a ponytail and a, uh, a real light goatee sort of beardish situation. Um, <laughs> but he's sweating profusely. All right. Um, this and... guy I'm approaching. <laughs> and he... Um, he he is First real part pale. Made me think of Nathan, but the second part made me think of Scott Brown. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, um, and uh, you approach him, um, and it's, it's he, Nathan's brown rice. He he notices you uh, and uh, begins like. <coughs> Heading like backing away towards the back of the barn. Um, I can't imagine why it's a one-armed lady with two pony kegs on her head. This seems <laughs> and a mallet. <laughs> <laughs> totally normal. Hey, it's the middle. Totally normal. Probably a beef tenderizer. <laughs> we we all walk around with beef tenderizers here, just so you know. <laughs> That's yeah. totally normal. That was my impression of the Midwest when I lived there. Yeah. Yeah, I've got one <laughs> next to the computer, just in case. Yeah, All yeah right. uh, I'm I'm chasing after this guy, trying to corner him and uh, get some information out of him. Okay, um, it is super crowded in here. It is super humid. I it's, will make a hole. It is very loud. 
Um, and it, it is uh, free-flowing booze left and right. Um, and there isn't much of a breeze inside this barn. Um, and uh, you start kind of like trying to make your way through, but there's a lot of people in the way. You're pushing them out of the way forcefully, and they kind of make way for you, but they're kind of also don't really care that you hurt them. Um, and, uh, so they're just kind of doing what they're doing. Um, and you, you get, uh, uh, approach him, uh, and you're about, I don't know, maybe there's, maybe there's like 20 people between you and him. And, uh, and he looks at you just very like, uh, terrified. Um, and he barfs brown goo all over the person in front of him, like oh. right in his face. Oh, like, yeah. like, and it's this, this real viscous, almost oily substance. I um, officially no longer want to interrogate this man. <laughs> to help when. <laughs> what, what was that? She I'm sorry. Somebody, a while ago. Somebody's calling me. I gotta, oh God. I have never been happier not to be somewhere. <laughs> All right. Um, I will yeah. describe the situation I just witnessed and am fucking off from. <laughs> cool, cool, cool. All right, you uh, you sort of back away and, and disappear into the crowd and, and head outside uh, for some fresh air. And holy fuck, is it hot in there? Um, you get outside and um, the cool uh, breeze is is a welcome. Um, you uh, you see a bunch of people uh, in the area, and uh, you need to make another overcome roll, Ursula. Overcome against uh, the conditions that you have. Get up, get it down with the sickness. Mm -hmm. I I don't understand what you're telling me to do. I I have dupe and drunk, but am I supposed to be overcoming severed right arm? <laughs> no, no. You are yep. just making an overcome roll. I'm not telling you against what. Ah. Okay. But something needs to be overcome. You're not feeling a hundred percent. You can use your uh, condition if you want. It will probably result in another condition. Okay. Eight. That is enough. All right. Um, you gain another invoke on your drunk, dupe and drunken aspect. Excellent. And um, you're feeling great. In fact, yeah, great. you would like to keep drinking and oh. kind of think, <laughs> kind of think like. I didn't plan on stopping. <laughs> I haven't stopped since this arm came off. Yeah. <laughs> and frankly, it's time everybody else got on board because <laughs> this party wagon is amazing. And you've really kind of figured things out, that sort of uh, uh, concoction. So um, you kind of scan the area and you see the professor still John at the, uh, uh, the police officer. And um, a, a woman in her 50s, like, marches past you, heading towards the house um, with a bottle in her hand. Um, I uh, just walk up to the professor and uh, take my beer helmet tube out, jam it in his mouth. <laughs> <laughs> Hello. Just... <clears throat> Slapping him on the back. I, I see you found the uh, booze barn. It's, uh, I wouldn't suggest going in there. It's, it got real gross. But uh, no. I, I brought enough to share, so. <laughs> I guess that's, uh, that's nice of you, but um, <clears throat> I was just talking to this 
Fine, and she sticks Lieutenant. it back in his mouth. <laughs> <laughs> Ursula, attack the professor with your alcohol. <laughs> Absolutely. <laughs> so, uh... Host. I, I have instructed my dog to track down the uh, succubus. Yes. Ah, oh, right. My dog is smarter than me. Uh, <laughs> So he's going after carrots. Awesome. Uh, he, he finds the uh, pumpkin leftovers is and going to town on it. Yeah. Um, Clearly he's found a body. I should let the others know. Yeah, oh. exactly. Exactly. I only rolled a four. I think I missed his mouth. <laughs> yeah. I shoved it straight up his nose. Oh, no. <laughs> Uh, you actually shoved it right into the police officer's mouth, who was just, <laughs> yeah. sho- she, she was just uh, sure. leaning forward to uh, offer the professor uh, some of her flask, uh, and you shoved that into her face, and she's like, mm-hmm, but actually kind of into it. Um, uh, but she still holds out the flask to the professor. Uh, so have I, have I gotten to know ursula enough to know that this this might be a little bit different than normal behavior i like i like to think this is our first day together (laughs) okay (laughs) in that case i'm uh, they're at a party we're at a party i'm not that worried uh there's just booze um yeah but uh i managed to duck enough to get less of it on my my otherwise quite still tidy polo shirt um, so I don't feel too bad about the situation. Yeah. Um, I feel like if this, if, if I was a little more socially aware, I might have something else to say about that. But, um, yeah. so I'm going to leave him to continue spreading whatever this is, pat him on the back <laughs> and head off towards the maze. All right. He's clearly got now, the cop handle. Now, do you, I, um, shoot? yeah. Now, do you have an infected condition? I don't believe I do. Okay. Um, that's right. You don't. Um, all right. So you uh, head off towards the um, uh, the corn maze. Um, Ursula, you see him heading off, but you've also heard distantly something about a bonfire and people roasting each other. Um, uh, everybody's kind of heard that. Uh, Figuratively. The, the Frenchman is uh, going off about some kind of body that he's found. Um, I, I was looking for the fire, but I, uh, as you may know or not, uh, don't have any sight. <laughs> you might be able to sense heat. Yes, that is not part of sight. Very astute rabbit. <laughs> <laughs> um. But now if the... someone would like to bring me to the fire, perhaps I can help these people not uh, throw each other in. Uh-huh. Uh, the dog uh, continues to pull you in the direction of the pumpkins, uh, which happens to be where the rabbit is. Um, yep. And um, some of the children um, are there and they're kind of carving things. The the big guy is teaching the gal with the little girl with a sword. Um, and um, she accidentally um, does a quick. Oh, no. Oh, my shoe, he's on that. And. Uh... <laughs> <laughs> I am now ducking at just the right moment. Yeah. <laughs> you duck out of the way. Uh, Dupe, you need to make a defend roll. All right. Um, I'm going to actually uh, defend. So I've been, I've been like trying to teach this kid uh, about uh, playing with swords. Mm-hmm. So I'm going to. Um, Which I'm uh, sure none of it has to do with safety, right? Oh, no, no. I'm actually going to. Um, uh, flashily defend um, with huge gestures uh, because that's how you sword fight, basically. Like, ah, we have the same style. 
<laughs> How is it that I could be so much better than you? <laughs> I'm also going to defend using my fringe aspect religious savior because who's a lucky mother? Yeah. You are. M me. Me. Yeah, me. Maybe you. Personally, I have not fucked a mother, but... Uh, all right. Okay. Valid. Wait. No, okay. Uh, I got you back. That would be a 16. Wow. I don't know why this is still on me, but... Um, yeah, you've been on there for a long time. I don't know why. You should be up, and I'm seeing you... No, it's been just you. Do I need to unclick myself and click you? I don't know. I don't know what I'm doing. Who um, knows? <clears throat> Who knows? Whatever. Um, all right. Uh, you also definitely duck out of the way as she uh, moves her sword and takes one kid's head off entirely. Oh. Who does? Oh, no. didn't, he didn't need that anyways. Um, now that's what a sharp, sharp sword will do that. Aren't we lucky there, that we like sharpened that just a minute ago? There is <laughs> a massive panic oh, as <laughs> as and screams as blood squirts out, um, and then suddenly, like oh. in midair, this sort of tendril shoots out of the neck stalk, grabs the head, and pulls it back right on. No! Be careful, troll car! I hear the sounds of battle. <laughs> yeah, you know and an alien. You As know I what word up. I don't like is neck stock. <laughs> I don't like that. That's awful. <laughs> All of a sudden, uh, JP's sword is out. <laughs> <laughs> Just like, oh, you, oh. like you know, he has a cane that he keeps folded up, but you don't really know where the sword came from. <laughs> Amazing. Uh, amazing. Yeah. This sounds a battle. Forward, Troker. Forward. Charge. I think I just figured it out. Somehow I had clicked a pin video on myself. Okay. Oh. How convenient. And you are unpinned. All right. I'm unpinned. That's lovely. Yeah. Like unhinged, but. More. Good news, Don. We get to look at you for like, uh, I don't know, for the last hour or so. <laughs> uh, yeah, not that long, thank you. <laughs> um, okay. Uh, Bunny. Uh huh. You just saw this I shit. Just witnessed the most awful thing. Wait, like, wait, wait. What are you doing? Is the white bunny still white? I roll an overcome. Roll a defense roll. <laughs> sure, 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 sure. Um, I'm gonna go. Oh, like, why do you keep going? Uh, I'm gonna go with uh, quick. Um, I'm rolling on. Oh God. Uh, fucking a. That's horrifying. By the way, I'm still. I'm still. Uh, 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 <laughs> uh let's see. Uh, I'm going to use aspect unbelievably fast and silent. Yes, uh, thing UTS had it right. It's a necticle. No, no. <laughs> oh. Why? What is wrong with you people? <laughs> I love All right, it. let's see. Uh, I'm rolling on one d six. Uh. One D ten and um I think another oh, oh I guess it's two D six. Okay. Oh no, I hit the wrong thing. Fuck. Sorry. Let me re-roll that. I'm just I'm so upset right now. My hands are sweating. There was a technical <laughs> involved. My my fingers are just sliding all over the place. Alright. Uh two D six uh one. Ten. All right, there we go. Um, maybe. Did not, did not work. 
Is it because you capitalized roll? I think it. Oh my gosh. Oh man. It's so finicky. Wow. You know, dice are so much easier. <laughs> right? Now, why are you doing two dice six? Oh, uh, sorry. I was going on aspect unbelievably fast and silent. Am I rolling on the wrong thing? Uh, no. If you want to spend a faith die, you certainly can. I probably don't need to, though. All right. Well, I might regret this. So 1d6. Uh, da, da, 1d10. Great. 13. Good. Yeah. You uh, only get a slight blood splot on where? You tell me. Polka dots. Um, polka dots. I'm going to go with the tip of my nose. Okay. Oh, yeah. oh, your little pink nose is red. Aww. With a with a little bit of blood spray, it's a little bit of a with a uh, little little bit of baby blood. Yeah. Now, that you, now that you've tasted it, you crave more. <laughs> so true, though. It's so true. Um, I'm I'm going to uh, I'm going to attempt to remain very calm and like pop over to a child, not the one that had the neck tickle. That's that's fucking crazy. <laughs> That's there's something clearly wrong with that child, and I'm going to put on a stupid voice, and I'm going to ask this child, um, "Salutation, Chinese child. Um, what's going on?" It pukes gu- uh, brown goo all over you. God damn it! Oh. <laughs> well, um, that's definitely an answer to your question. <laughs> And... disgusting you little <laughs> anyway. um you are now a sopping goo fest of uh viscous brown disgustingness um aaron williams says except for her nose <laughs> <laughs> except for her nose that's right <laughs> i love it uh, let's see here. That was one of those. Um, yeah. And, uh, and about six of the children, including the Nectical, book it for the corn maze. Oh. They just oh. take off and children run to the corn. the corn. You but, get a faith die. Ah, <laughs> all of the children that were in there? No, about probably half. So you still have a few more to sword. Yeah. No, oh, the sword the sword kid is gone. Yeah, she, they're all they're not all bad, right? Yeah. Yeah, the one who beheaded the other also left with the sword. Ugh. Makes sense. Yeah. So the remaining ones are defenseless against the attack of you know. Mm-hmm. The blind guy? The blind swordsman. <laughs> <laughs> He's got this under control. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Um, uh, is it my turn yet? <laughs> yeah, it's your turn. <laughs> oh, yeah. Great news. Okay, uh, having heard the sounds of battle, I know now for a fact that that succubus is among us. <laughs> yes. I heard the flash of her evil blade. I heard it cut into the flesh of a child, and now I will bring out my own blade and bring justice, which is blind, to that. Oh. <laughs> love it. No, no, I no. love it. Uh, I begin a complicated series of very, very fancy sword moulinets where I'm just flipping it around in ways that you shouldn't fight with the sword, and then I just run forward as fast as I can. Running with a sharp <laughs> object. Excellent. This is how he fights, okay? <laughs> Don't mess with his process. He's a, That's right. It's the Cuisinart style. Uh, and I'm, I'm going to, I guess, make an attack. Yeah. <laughs> against, against Nectical at my full sprint. Go for it. God. Running towards what I guess is the corn maze because you said so. Yeah. But really, is the darkness. <laughs> Are you attacking the darkness? Uh, technically, always. <laughs> if attacking, 
attacking the darkness. Fourteen. Oh yeah. <laughs> Somehow, um, some way. Describe to me what you just did. Well, it's odd because the 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 child the children they're like there's like six of them. He runs amongst them. Oh God! Being a grown ass man in very good <laughs> physical shape, he has no problem catching up with these children. <laughs> The whole time, moving his sword in these complicated patterns that keep missing these children by mere centimeters. <laughs> but cutting deeply into the actual neck tentacle of the one with the sword. <laughs> then keeps running. <laughs> Not realizing that yeah. he has, in fact, hit his mark. <laughs> That is fantastic and accurate to a T. Um, the tentacle uh, child is cut in twain. There I go again. Um, right down the center of the torso. Uh, and uh, now a bunch of viscous tentacly things. I don't know what just happened. <laughs> my the video cannot take it let's try it again um and ultimately uh this thing like uh flails and becomes this mass of writhing flesh and tentacles and it no longer resembles a child it's just this uh writhing meat uh with uh these clear filaments that sprout out from it and they seem to be reaching and one grabs one of the kids and starts uh, like pulling it towards them no so, so it's like a pinata but in reverse yes Kyle, it is that when you break it reason. open pulls I, in I, other uh, children i shout a warning <laughs> to my to my compatriots to uh plug their noses and be not seduced by her beautiful form <laughs> <laughs> and with that um the credits uh the the screen turns to black and the credits roll as the screams of the young woman in the middle of the bonfire uh echoes off into the distance horrifically because when is witnessing it firsthand and no one seems to be giving a shit um but the uh, the bunny uh, is uh, oh, paralyzed with uh, paralyzed with uh, paralyzed with cuteness and those who are around her uh, she's paralyzed with horror the other that are around her the kids are also paralyzed with cuteness of the bunny uh, because the bunny has no it's idea what to do messy. right now it's just a messy little bunny that's right. Mm -hmm. Um, so after, post -cred after post -credit. the credits, when would like to say in the darkness to the earpiece, God damn it, Ursula. <laughs> <laughs> and the post credit scene pops up with the, uh, the entrance to the corn maze and, uh, a young 20 something guy uh turns to the professor and says come with me and they disappear into the the corn oh, maze. No. oh no never go with a young 20 something guy into a corn maze i disagree 100 percent no don't do it he'll probably try to you handed out all these face dice that we didn't 20 get something use. guys <laughs> <laughs> because that should make a difference um Record your faith dice because I am going to allow you to uh, hold those over. Sweet. Oh. Sweet. 
I don't because, know. Because I don't um, know. <laughs> if you had a boost, record yep. your boost. Yep, it's on there. Okay. Um, and thank you all for the uh, pilot of um, this Halloween extravaganza at the Miller Farm. Excellent. Um, Sorry, this, we spent uh, so much of it trying to drive a bus. Trying to pilot the bus. <laughs> okay, we it's found okay. our weakness, and it's getting ready and going places. <laughs> That's right. Yeah. Um, uh, to be fair, uh, I uh, was on purposely uh, willing to take our time with this to build the the setup and the characters. I think we did a good job with that. Good cover, um, good. Good cover. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> This will go uh, at least three sessions, maybe four, depending on how you guys deal with the uh, the coming. Although it is going to accelerate, um, so I mean, we'll we've been so efficient so far. I guarantee <laughs> oh, we knock it out in like two sessions. Oh, we've, for already, sure. we've already taken out several bystanders. I bet we can get the rest of them next time. Yeah, you started yeah. fighting something, so that's good because at least I can be marginally actually useful. Yeah. Um, Dupe, I apologize for not killing you yet. Yeah, you should be really sorry. I'm really sorry. If you had gotten to the bonfire, was going to throw you in. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> but she didn't. Next time. Uh, there is always over. next week. Yeah, good. Yeah. Good. Yeah. You no, know, all you got to really do is convince me that he's the succubus. Yeah. Well, I'll just like <laughs> rub some pheromones on him and then. <laughs> Send him your way. <laughs> kind of thought he was going to get killed. Anywhere. <laughs> <laughs> kind of thought he was going to get shanked by that kid he was teaching, and then he I was thought going, too. Thumbs up on the way down. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> oh my shoe is untied. <laughs> <laughs> you have a you have a law of like like uh, as long as you don't know you're in danger, you can't be hurt. <laughs> yeah, that's most that's most of my character sheet. <laughs> but I also don't that that same ability also allows me to not endanger everyone around me all. The time. <laughs> Otherwise I would be awful. Uh who had an infected condition? Drukar. And me. Uh God you... so harsh. You may clear the moderate or clear the mild infected and it becomes a moderate. Oh, okay. Whoops. Oh, it goes up. It's spread very quickly. That was like one round. Infected yeah. 20. Yeah. Goodness me. That's not good. <sighs> It's like KidVid19. <laughs> Nectical 19. <laughs> uh, that's so gross. And Nectical that will gross. carry over to next session. Um, are, we gonna, are we gonna be doing disease for the whole three sessions? Just we'll see. So I'm warned ahead of time. <laughs> so I can I next time ahead of time. Do I still get Cruciflexed, my severe condition for next. Severes don't go away. <laughs> <laughs> you got to do work to get a severe to go away. All right. Yeah. I don't feel like you did anything to deal with your cruciflex. Especially it's yours true. doesn't go away. <laughs> <laughs> yours is punishment. <laughs> Excellent. Oh, that's good. Thing. I am going to title this episode Night of the Necticles. <laughs> Thank you. Yep. Oh, yeah. That's good. Don't Night like of it. the Necticles. Children of the Corn. Uh, yeah, it's been pointed out that not only did you not do anything to clear your condition, you took your shirt off. So. <laughs> 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 So double fuck you. Yeah. <laughs> the condition's not in your shirt, bro. Like, you, you never know. You got to try something. I right? mean, I guess that's fair. Yeah. Yeah. All right, everyone. We'll uh, tune in next week to find out what happens next. 
uh, in this crazy Miller form of Halloween extravaganza. Yeah. Uh, demon hunters trying to figure out what the F is going on. My hope and... is the blind guy drives a tractor. <laughs> combine harvester. It's got to be a combine You can make that harvester. happen. You're the leader. Consider it done. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> That's how we lose Dupe's character. <laughs> yeah, I'll drive it right over that motherfucker. <laughs> Cut into the maze. and Not then... on purpose. <laughs> Not on purpose. Right into the maze, just through the maze. Mazes yep. are not hard not when you have a tractor. No, I'll, I'll literally be like taking a piss over in the corner and he'll get run over by the tractor because of it. <laughs> Spoiler alert, that. everybody. That's all of this is going to happen. <laughs> <laughs> I am this the is, living butterfly effect. This is our planning session right now. You're witnessing it. <laughs> <laughs> awesome. Well, good night, everyone. Thank you for tuning in. This has been DG Game Night. And uh, we will Tune see Tune in tomorrow you... to whatever show Brian said that was. Some boy, kind of jumpers. boy Jumpers. Boy Jumpers. There boy, you go. Boy Jumpers, yeah. Uh, check that out here at uh, Twitch TV slash Zombie Orpheus. Good night, everybody. Good night.